Because there is that way that you planned for us before the foundation of the world, O oh God. There is a path that, Father, you chose that we must treat therein, O oh dear God. We pray that we may humble ourselves before thee, O oh dear God, that you may guide us to do thy holy will, O oh dear God. We are not of our own, we are yours, O oh dear God, and you called us for a purpose, and this purpose must be accomplished, O oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to come unto thee, O oh dear God. Help us to be prayerful, Lord Jesus Christ, that we may know your will in our eyes, O oh dear Father. We continue praying for them that are seeking this precious gift, O oh dear God. We pray this afternoon once again that you may anoint them with the spirit of prayer, O oh God. You know there is no good news here on earth, O oh dear God, than when we hear one has been born into the kingdom, O oh God. We pray that many may be born into the kingdom, O oh dear Father. May it be this is the time that you are going to remember their prayers, O oh God, as you remember the prayers of Cornelius, O oh dear God. God, may you remember their prayers this afternoon, O oh God. May you grant their hard desires, O oh dear God, that they may lead a victorious life here on earth, O oh God. We pray that you may raise Amram in our midst, O oh dear God. Father, who would pray throughout the night, O oh dear God. We pray that you may raise Daniel in our midst, O oh dear God. Who read the books of his prophet Jeremiah, O God, and knew that their time to live in Babylon was over, O God, and he set himself to pray, O dear God. Help us to pray even when we don't feel to pray, O dear God, because our enemy hates when we pray, because he knows when we pray we shall live a victorious life, O God. And we are going to get all thy promises, O dear Father. Help us this afternoon as we sit and to hear thy word, O God, as you have spoken to our hearts this morning, O oh God, may you continue speaking to our hearts, O oh dear Father. Lord, help us to hide these things in our hearts, O oh dear God, because you, taught, you teach us, Father, with a purpose, O oh God, that we may lead a victorious life here on earth, O oh God. Lord, we thank thee for everything, O oh God, and we thank thee for this opportunity, O oh God. Him that, that will be sitting for their exam on Wednesday, we pray that you may give him or her uh, remembrance, O oh dear Father, and success, O oh dear God, for the glory and honor of your holy name, O oh God. We come with her that is God, uh, Lord, thanking thee for answering her prayers, O oh dear God. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Continue answering unto many, O oh dear God, because you promised to be with us, O oh dear God, until the end of the world, O oh God. And since the, oh, the world has not come to an end, O oh God, you are still in our midst, O oh dear God. You are keeping your promise unto us, O oh dear God, and you are going to lead us all the way, O oh dear Father. Thank you for being good unto us, O oh God. Thank you for thy blessing upon our eyes, O oh God. Thank you for the good health, O oh dear God. Thank you for thy providence in our eyes, O oh dear Father. Our All our health come from thee in all dimension, O oh dear God. Or whatever we need, we get it from thee, O oh God. We thank thee for being good unto us, O oh dear God. We thank thee for being Jehovah Jireh in our eyes, O oh God. Thank you for everything, Father. Thank you even for this opportunity to sit around thee, O oh dear Father. We thank thee and we glorify thy holy name. And all this we pray, believing in the most holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As we prepare... To sit down and listen to the word. Yes, open song number 730. When 
my way is done. Preteransia. As the day I fade into thin I share. Mwana wa bariki sana. Let's pray. Tuombe. Our heavenly Father, once again we thank you this afternoon and we commit the meeting to thee. Father, make it your own meeting and run it your own way. May we benefit and may you receive glory and honor. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, the Lord bless you very much. Bwana au bariki sana. Um We want to greet a uh, uh, brother Kenodia and the uh, church in Ruiru. Tutaka kumsalimu ndugu Kinudia na kanisa kule Ruiru. And uh, also uh, we thank you very much brother Kenodia. Pia tunakushukuru sana ndugu Kinudia. We have received your uh, contribution for the funeral. Tumepokea msaada wako kwa ajili ya mazishi and a big contribution. Na ni msaada mkubwa. Yeah, we thank you very very much. Na kushukuru sana sana. Yeah. 
We thank you and the church there. Tuna kushukuru pamoja na kanisa huko. Now I want us to uh, uh, take a few paragraphs here. Uh, tutachukua paragraph kadhaa hapa. Uh, in this Fox's book of matters. Katika kitabu hiki cha wafia imani cha Fox. Now I want you to follow up these things very closely. Nataka mfuatilie mambo haya kwa karibu sana. Uh, this Bible Biblia hii The word in this Bible Neno katika Biblia hii uh, should be understood by God's children. Linapaswa kueleweka na watoto wa Mungu. Many things that took place Mambo mengi yaliyotukia here hapa many things that are mentioned here mambo mengi ambayo yametajwa humu i am now sure i'm sure now you can relate nina hakika sasa mnaweza sasa kuunganisha kuunganisha why did this happen here ni kwa nini hili lililofanyika hapa what is this that happened here ni nini hicho kilichofanyika hapa that's right mm -hmm. we want you to understand Na, tunataka muelewe Now some things when you read here mambo mengine ukiyasoma hapa may not carry as much weight as after they have been explained huenda yasiwe yasibebe uzito mwingi sana kama vile baada ya kuelezwa yeah see naona and as we as you, you, can, you can now see kama vile sasa mnaweza kuona this spirit roho hii right from eden tangu edeni toka edeni what he has tried to do kile ambacho imejaribu kufanya that spirit roho hiyo it's the spirit now called churches today ni roho ambayo sasa ine ni roho ndio roho ndio roho ambayo inaitwa makanisa sasa say that again brother terwe ndio roho ambayo sasa inaitwa makanisa same spirit roho hiyo hiyo calling itself what church ikijiita makanisa na listen to that Sikiliza the hiyo. same spirit roho hiyo hiyo calling itself churches ikijiita makanisa literally so ikiwa hivyo wima clear mm -hmm. but is the same spirit lakini ni roho ile ile tu behind every denomination nyuma ya kila dhehebu the same spirit behind every religion roho hiyo hiyo nyuma ya kila dini with one common what we call denominator ikiwa tu na lengo moja si denying the what the word kukataa neno kukataa neno kukataa neno beating the drum kutoanga ngoma ikipiga goma <laughs> ikipiga ngoma church ikijiita iki kanisa but the same spirit lakini ni roho ile ile tu is that very very clear sawa so, speaking in tongues Wakinena kwa lugha Iki. ikinena kwa lugha calling itself pentecost ikijiita wa pentecost deny but deny the word lakini ikikataa neno same spirit roho hiyo hiyo tu all right mm. now sasa i don't Kita... know which page do we reach Who remembers from revocation of the edit of nantes that page Foto why did why did all this happen to our brethren? Ni kwa nini mambo haya yote yaliwapata ndugu zangu? See? Because they were standing with the original. Kwa sababu walisimamia ile ya asili. Ile ya asili. asili. Who is this that was uh, destroying our brothers? Ni nani huyu aliyekuwa akiangamiza ndugu zetu? Satan. Ibilisi. Claim listen, Satan. Ibilisi claiming to defend the word. Akidai eti alikuwa anatetea neno. Is that not so? Mm. Huh? Was he not trying to Was he not Was he not saying he was defending the word? Je, hako anasema kwamba alikuwa anatetea neno? And that agrees with the scriptures. Na hiyo inakubaliana na maandiko. Because Jesus said, kwa sababu Yesu alisema, the time cometh. Wakati una, unakuja, when they kill you, watakapowaua, they will think they are doing God what? 
Watafikiri kwamba wanamfanyia Mungu ibada. And if they will think they are doing God service. Na kama watafikiri kwamba wanamfanyia Mungu ibada. In other words, in other words we can say. Yaani tunaweza kusema they, they will think they were defending the truth. Watafikiri kwamba wanatetea kweli. They will believe they was they are standing for the word. Wataamini ya kwamba wanasimamia neno. And that they are killing those who are trying to destroy the word. Na ya kwamba wanawaua wale wanaojaribu kuharibu neno. You get that? You get that? That is hiyo. not what we are talking about here this morning. Hicho ndicho tulikuwa tunanena hapa asubuhi ya leo. That ya kwamba he claims originality. Ibilisi hudai eti yeye ndiye aliye na ile ya asili. And that and whatever he it, uh, he does. Na chochote afanyacho it is in the name of defending that the truth that he claims to stand for. Anafanya hivyo kwa kudai kwamba anasimamia kweli. Anasifanya hivyo katika jina la kudai. La kudai kutetea kile ambacho anadai ako nacho cha asili. Is it very strange? Hiyo si ya kushangaza? Now, so page 40 what? 41. Paragraph The last one? Second. Second. Second last. Books are different. Second last. Yeah? On the revocation of Edith Lattes. Not this. Second. Mine it is. It's a remarkable reference. Interference. On the revocation of Edith Lattes. Edith of Nantes. Hey, you mean you forgot <laughs> like me? <laughs> eh? Yeah, for one. For which paragraph? It's heading is from revolution. Oh, it's a heading, sorry. Yeah. It's a subheading. My doesn't have a subheading. <laughs> okay. From the persecution of Christians by the revocation of the Edith Lattes. That is page 42 in mine. <laughs> from the revocation? Yeah. Yes. That's page yeah. 2 in mine. <laughs> All right. From the revocation of the edict of Nantes, Nantes to the French Revolution 1789. Some of you in history wengine wenu katika historia might have read about the French Revolution. Wenda ikawa mlisoma kuhusu mapinduzi hayo ya Ufaransa. All right. Now You see now this persecution was widespread. Unaona sasa mateso haya yalikuwa yameenea. Au yalie? Mateso haya yalienea. Yalienea kila pahali. The world over. Ulimwengu mzima. And don't forget. Na msisahau we moved from a uh, pagan pagan persecution of the Christians. Tulitoka kutoka kwa mateso ya, ya wakristiani ya wapagani dhidi ya wakristiano wa so tulitoka kutoka kwa mateso ya wapagani dhidi ya wakristiano we came to papal persecution tukaja kwa mateso ya upapa au ya kipapa is that very clear mm. and we saw na tuliona it is not the pagans and the christians persecuting si si wa si wa wapagani wa pagani wa kristiano wa kristiano wakitesana it is the same spirit ni roho ile ile tu it is that same spirit ni roho ile ile that god it say of what christianity ni roho ile ile ambayo ilijiita sasa ukristiano but the same but is the same spirit lakini ni roho ile ile tu so, so don't forget that kwa hivyo msisahau jambo hilo si It is coated with the seal with its seal with the Christian names. Ilijifunika yenyewe na majina ya Kikristiano. But the same spirit. Lakini ni roho ile ile tu. And it is strange today. Na ni ni kushangaza leo that somebody can think that theirs is a Christian church. Kwamba mtu anaweza kudhani kwamba lao ni kanisa la Kikristiano. In is paganism. Nani upagani mtupu? Clear. Hmm. Same spirit. Ni roho ile ile tu. Same spirit propelling their denomination. Roho ile ile ina ikiendesha. Ikiendesha dhahabu lao. Dini yao. Dini yao. Dini ikiendesha dini yao. But they are deceived. Lakini wamedanganyika that 
and you, and, you, and you see another strange thing is that uh, naona jambo lingine la kushangaza ni hili they try to preach waujaribu kuhubiri wanajaribu kuhubiri wanajaribu kuhubiri want to get somebody from the bar wanajaribu kumtoa mtu fulani kutoka kwa bar make him an anglican wamfanye muanglican make him a christo wamfanye mkristo make him up a phg wamfanye wa phg eh <laughs> jesus said na yesu alisema you make him two fold a child of hell na mnamfanya maradufu mwana wa kuzimu mwana wa kuzimu that he was kuliko alivyokuwa and that you are saved you know, he is what he would run, if he remained a drunkard kama angesalia tu akiwa mlevi and not uh, leave his bottle and start beating the drum na asiache chupa yake aanze kupiga ngoma and he finally become evangelist or apostle so and so na na mwishoe awe evangelist mwinjilisti au apostle fulani 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 he would have been better there in the club Angekuwa afadhali angesalia huko kwa club. There, kwa sababu huko hakuwa anamwongoza vibaya yeyote. Yeye na chupa yake tu. Ilikuwa tu yeye na nini? Na chupa yake. But here, lakini hapa is leading thousands to hell. Anaongoza maelfu kuelekea kuzimu. So he's worse. Kwa hivyo yeye yuko mahali pabaya zaidi. See? You say he is better. Mnasema tie yuko bora. Jesus said he is worse. Yesu alisema hapa hako mahali pabaya zaidi. Oh he used to be a drunkard. Alikuwa mlevi. Oh he's now better. Sasa yuko wafadhali. God says he's worse. Mungu anasema hata ako vibaya zaidi. Okay, he's both hellbound. Ndio, pande zote anaelekea kuzimu. But here he is now leading others to hell. Lakini hapa anawaongoza wengine kuelekea kuzimu. See? Listen to this. Kilizeni hii. Let me read this statement here. msemo huu hapa au maneno haya hapa. From Church Ages page 195. Inatoka kwa ujumbe huu ya kasab za kanisa uko rasa wa 125. Church Ages page 195. Au rasa wa 195. And I'm reading just the last portion of uh I, I, I'm picking from the last portion of paragraph 1. Nachukua sehemu ya mwisho ya huyu paragraph ya kwanza. Listen to this to this Sikilizeni hii This was the spirit says Hivi ndivyo roho anasema The spirit that motive motive that mo, uh, that motivated the pagan Rome Roho iliyo ile ile iliyo yeah. The spirit that motivated the pagan Rome Roho ile iliyo suku ile ile Roho ile ile iliyo enesha Roma ya kipagani Now listen to brother Terewe. Say that again. Roho ile ile iliyoendesha Roma ya kipagani is the same spirit ndio roho hiyo hiyo that now motivate motivate false Christian Rome. Ni roho hiyo hiyo ambayo sasa inaendesha Roma ya yeah. uh, false Christian Rome. Ha, inayoendesha Roma ya Kristiano Ukristiano wa Roma. Wa Roma. Wa Roma. Not another spirit. Si roho nyingine. There it appeared pagan. Kule ilionekana ni ya kipagani. Here it pretends to be Christian. Hapa inajifanya ya Ukristo. Ukristian. Inajifanya Ukristiano. But the same spirit. Lakini roho ile ile tu. Right? So hmm. when we move from persecution and a pagan and a, and a pagan spirit. Kwa hivyo tukiondoka kutoka kwa mateso yaliyoendeshwa na roho ya kipagani, we come to persecution and a under the pope na tunakuja kwa mateso chini ya pope remember it the same spirit that has called itself christian kumbukeni roho ile ile ambayo sasa imejiita imejiita ukristiano i hope that is very clear natumaini jambo hilo linaeleweka now listen sikilizeni now listen sasa sikilizeni is 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 it then very strange that the so called what we call churches Is nothing but paganism? Je, basi si kushangaza. Si ajabu basi ya kwamba kile tunachoita makanisa. Makanisa ni upagani mtupu. Pure and pure. Ni, ni upagani mtupu. Is that spirit hiding its own behind Christianity? Ni roho hiyo hiyo ikijificha nyuma ya Ukristiano. But look, lakini angalia the way it hated it hated the word. Yes, it is as, as pagan 
angalia jinsi ilivyochukia neno ikiwa ya, ikiwa upagani is the same way it hits the word in the name of christian ni njia hiyo hiyo inachukia neno katika jina la ukristiano so has it changed basi imebadilika it has only changed in name imebadilisha jina tu by the same spirit lakini ina roho hiyo hiyo see that's exactly the same spirit ni roho hiyo hiyo tu now so that is that is uh that is that is a uh, uh that is something that a believer should note hilo ni jambo ambalo mwaminio anapaswa kushika ama kuona that you are change kwamba mabadiliko yako you are change mabadiliko yako should not be in name hayapaswi kuwa katika jina au kwa jina hayapaswi kuwa kwa jina clear mm. it must be the change from the inside mabadiliko yako yanapaswa kuwa mabadiliko kutoka ndani if anybody be in christ yeyote akiwa ndani ya kristo he is a new creature huyo ni kiumbe kipya all things are passed away ya kale yamepita behold all things have become new tazama mambo yote yamekuwa mapya We don't change church. Hatubadilishi kanisa. We don't change the group we associated with. We associate with. Hatubadilishi kundi tunalohusiana nalo. Kundi tunacho. Husiana nacho. Mhm. -mm. La God wants to change us. Mungu anataka kutubadilisha. With the power of transformation. Kwa God uwe... wants to transform us. Mungu anataka kutubadilisha na uweza huo wa kubadilisha. From human kutoka wanadamu to God to wewe Mungu kutoka mwanadamu ufanyike Mungu, Mungu. because a, you be born of God kwa sababu kuzaliwa na Mungu become a God unafanyika Mungu not change from presbyterian to anglican sio kubadilika kubadilisha not change from anglican to full gospel sio kubadilika kuwa mwanglikana hadi PCA au mwanglikana kwa kuwa full gospel all right but to change lakini kubadilika from the child of the devil kutoka mwana wa ibilisi to a child of god hadi kuwa mwana wa mungu permanent change mabadiliko ya kudumu now so kwa hivyo the spirit that motiv motivated uh, pagan rome roho ile ile iliyoendesha roma ya kipagani is the same spirit ni roho hiyo hiyo that now motivate false Christian Rome ambayo sasa inaendesha ukristiano wa uongo wa Roma You can see that it is so because Unaweza kuona hivyo kwa sababu uh, Unaweza kuona ni hivyo Ni hivyo kwa sababu Say that again Unaweza kuona ni hivyo kwa sababu You now know that Sasa unajua ya kwamba the fourth empire ufalme wa nne ule ufalme ule wa nne Never went out of existence. Haukuangamia kabisa. Ule ufalme wa ine, the first Okay. Babylonian Babylonian Empire. Ufalme wa Kibabiloni. Middle Persian Empire. Ufalme wa Middle Persia. Grecian Empire. Ufalme wa Kiunani. Roman Empire. Alafu ufalme wa Kirumi. The Roman Empire. Ufalme wa Kirumi. The fourth empire. Ambao ambao ndio wa nne. Never went out of existence. Haukuangamia au kuisha. The Roman Empire never went out of existence. Ufalme wa Kirumi haukuisha. It just changed its outer texture. Ulibadilisha tu gamba lake la juu. <laughs> From Imperial Roman Empire kutoka ufalme wa kisiasa wa Kirumi to the ecclesiastical Roman Empire hadi kwa na ukawa ufalme wa kidini wa Roma wa Roma and the head of and it, the head of that empire na kiongozi wa ufalme huo is going to rule the world anaenda ataenda kutawala ulimwengu for a short time kwa muda mfupi the world will see a religious head ulimwengu utaona kiongozi wa kidini ruling the world akitawala ulimwengu but as far as the, the spirit is concerned lakini kuhusu vile roho amesema it shall be the same roman empire utakuwa na ufalme ule ule wa kirumi is that right hmm. that had two arms uliokuwa na mikono miwili uh, 
are ecclesiastical and imperial. Mkono wa kisiasa na mkono wa dini. See, just like you are, just like you are saying here. Kama tulivyo kwa tukisema hapa. Listen. Sikiliza. You remember we read here in Muna, these church ages. Muna kumbuka tulisoma katika ujumbe huu huu wa nyaka sabla kanisa. Page 200. Ukurasa wa miambili. Where a certain emperor was baptized in the Catholic in the Catholic in the Roman Catholic faith. Ambapo mfalme fulani alibatizo katika hiyo imani dini ya katoliki. And according to his utterances na kulingana na matamshi yake he confesses anakiri that both their religion kwamba kwa kwa dini yao dini yao and the government na serikali work hand in hand zinafanya kazi pamoja that there are only two arms kwamba ni mikono miwili tu of the same fellow ya jamaa mmoja listen sikiliza now, sasa, if you, if you want to prove, kama unataka thibiti, kama unataka, kama unataka thibitisho, that the Catholic Church demands the lives and minds of men, kuamba kanzaka katoliki linadai maisha na uhai na na fikra na fikra za watu. Just listen to the edict of Theodosius the second. Sikiliza tu amri ya yoyo Theodosius wa pili. This edict uh, Amri he was issued immediately after he was baptized by the first church of Rome. Ilitolewa mara tu alipobatizwa na kanisa la kwanza la Roma. And he said this. Na alisema hivi. We three emperors sisi wafalme watatu will tuta tuna tuna will that uh, will tuna Tunatangaza ya kwamba Tunatangaza ya kwamba Our subjects uh, Watu tunao tawala Awangoza Steadfastly adhere to the religion Washike kwa, kwa, kwa Washike dini kwa dhati Which was told by St. Peter to the Romans Dini iliofundishwa na mtakatifu Petro kwa wa Roma which has been faithfully preserved by tradition dini ambayo imehifadhiwa kwa kwa preserved by tradition ambayo imehifadhiwa kwa desturi and which is now professed a professed by the pontiff na ambayo sasa inaakiriwa na pope or pontiff damasus of rome na pope uh, damasus wa roma and Peter, na Peter, Bishop of Alexandria, a Bishop of Alexandria, a man of apostolic holiness, mtu aliye na utakatifu kimitume, according to the institution of the apostles, kulingana na alivyo kabidhiwa, alivyo kabidhiwa afisi na mitume, and the doctrine of the gospel, na mafundisho ya injili. Let us believe in one Godhead. Hebu tuamini uungu mmoja of the father wa baba the son mwana and the holy spirit na roho mtakatifu of equal majesty walio na uweza sawa in the holy trinity katika utatu mtakatifu that is he goes further anaendelea zaidi he says this na anasema hivi we order tunaamuru that ya kwamba the adherents of this faith wafuasi wa imani hii be called catholic christians waitwe wa kristiano wa kikatoliki au watakuwa wakiitwa watakuwa wakiitwa wa kristiano wa kikatoliki we proud of the senseless followers of other religion na tunawaita wafuasi wale wengine wa hizi dini za upuzi with the infamous name kwa jina lisilo la heshima of heretic la wazushi and forbid their conventicles their gathering their their, na, con, na, their, na, their gathering tunakataza makusanyiko yao 
au kukusanyika kwao au tunawapiga marufuku tunawapiga marufuku makusanyiko yao like kwa makusanyiko yao assuming the name of churches kujiita kujiita makanisa besides the condemnation of divine justice kando na kando na vile Mungu amewalaani pia uh-huh. Ka- kando na vile Mungu amewalaani pia They must expect the heavy penalty. Watarajie. Lazima watarajie. Lazima watarajie adhabu. Mkono wa nguvu. Au ghadhabu ya nguvu, ghadhabu kuu. Which our authority ambayo mamlaka yetu as lead as as kings kama wafalme guided by heavenly wisdom tukiongozwa na hekima ya tukiongozwa na Mungu shall think proper to inflict tutaona ni vizuri kutoa you see he says that he is there kwamba wako pale uh, 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 fighting for god wakimpigania mungu and the heaven is behind them na mbingu ziko nyuma yao and when they come to persecute the church no ajapo kutesa kanisa or any other of any other faith au imani nyingine yote mwingine wa imani nyingine that they, they will be doing so kwamba watakuwa wakifanya hivyo to help god kumsaidia mungu wakimsaidia mungu because he has given them power kwa sababu amewapa uweza to protect his faith kulinda imani yake you see naona That's exactly. So it's a noun. Now, ni, ni, so mpona. here, here, hapa, hapa basi. So it's, it's a continuation. Kwa hiyo naona ni kuendelezwa. Now let me tell you. Hebu niwaambie. And let me emphasize. Na hebu nikaze hapa. Listen please. Sikilizeni tafadhali. I said there is we have a message. Nilisema tuko na ujumbe given to us or spoken to us by the holy spirit today tulioneenewa na roho mtakatifu leo called unaoitwa blasphemous names majina ya kukufuru is that right sawa blasphemous names majina ya kukufuru and that under blasphemous names na katika ujumbe huo katika chini ya majina ya chini ya majina hayo ya kukufuru ya kukufuru lies Oh the so called Christendom denominations Kuna lala hayo yote yanayoitwa makanisa ya makanisa ya Ukristiano Si Let me show you I'm reading Church Ages page 15 Nasoma uh, nyakati saba za kanisa ukurasa wa 15 paragraph 2 paragraph ya pili Let me show you another reason. Hebu niwaonyeshe sababu nyingine. Why Satan hates this book of, of, of the revelation of Jesus Christ? Ni, ni kwa nini ibilisi anachukia kitabu hiki? Kitabu hiki cha ufunuo wa Yesu, wa Yesu Christo, Christo in the church. Katika kanisa. He knows that. Anajua ya kwamba Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever. Yesu Kristo ni yeye yule jana leo na hata milele. And he changes not. Na yeye habadiliki. Na kwamba. Na ya kwamba habadiliki. Satan knows that a whole lot more than do 90% of the theologians. Ibilisi anajua hivyo bora kuliko asilimia tisini ya wahubiri. He knows that anajua ya kwamba since god is immutable in his nature kwa kuwa mungu habadiliki katika tabia yake then he is just as immutable in his ways basi hivyo pia habadiliki katika njia zake thus Satan knows assuredly kwa hivyo ibilisi anajua vyema that the original church at pentecost ya kwamba kanisa lile la, lile la kwanza kule pentecost With the power of God likiwa na uweza wa Mungu Mark 16 in action Marko 16 ikitanda kazi is the true church ndilo kanisa la kweli that Jesus claims as his own ambalo Yesu anadai kuwa lake kuwa ndilo kuwa ndilo lake oh as is false yale mengine yote ni ya uongo it has to be lazima iwe hivyo Now remember this. Sasa kumbukeni hivi. Christ in the true church, 
Kristo katika kanisa la kweli is a continuation of the book of Acts. Ni kuende ni kuendelezwa kwa kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. See? But the book of Revelation lakini kitabu cha ufunuo shows how kinaonyesha jinsi that the antichrist spirit jinsi roho ya mpinga Kristo would come into the church and defile it ingeingia katika, alikuwa ai, alikuwa aingia katika kanisa na kulichafua na kulinajisi na kulinajisi make it look up, alifanya liwe vugu vugu see form and powerless la kawaida lis, na lisilo na uweza wa wote it exposes Satan. E, kitabu cha funuo kinamweka kinamwanika ibilisi revealing his works. Ah kikifunika kiki funua kazi zake. That is yani attempted destruction of God's people kujaribu kuangamiza zake za juhudi zake kuja, kuja, maja, jarib, maja, jarib, lake la kuangamiza watu wa Mungu and the discrediting of God's word na kuli kuli ari, kosea, kuli kosea heshima he, neno la Mungu neno la Mungu kulikosea heshima neno la Mungu yeah yeah discrediting kulikosea like heshima the, like the word of God is discredited by the message people kama vile neno la Mungu linakosewa heshima na watu wa ujumbe yep yeah, watu wa ujumbe When you are praying for the Holy Ghost, unapoombea Roho Mtakatifu, they say you are crying like a puppy. Wanasema unalia kama mbwa mdogo. mdogo. That's a recording of the message. Na ni mtu anajita wa ujumbe? That is somebody calling himself a believer of the message of William Branham. Na huyo ni mtu anajita eti ni mwamini wa ujumbe wa William Branham. Listen, listen. Sikiliza eni. When you cry to God, unapomlilia Mungu, unapomlilia Mungu to fill you with the holy ghost akujaza na roho mtakatifu that you are crying like a puppy eti unalia kama mbwa mdogo and he claims to be a believer of the prophet na huyo anadai kuwa on the message of the prophet anadai kuwa ni mwamini wa ujumbe wa nabii and the prophet says na nabii anasema there is only one way kuna njia moja tu for a baby to do ya mtoto kufanya When it wants something anapotaka kitu kuna jambo moja tu ambao mtoto anajua anachotaka anapotaka kitu mm-hmm. that is to cry hiyo ni kulia and he says na anasema and there is only one way na kuna njia moja tu a child of god knows mtoto wa mungu anajua when he wants something from the from god anapotaka kitu kutoka kwa mungu is to cry hiyo pia ni kulia But to them lakini kwao when you cry unapolia to receive something from your father pokea kitu kutoka kwa baba yako he calls you a puppy anakuita kijubo kidogo and you are telling me we are going to live in the kingdom with that guy na unaniambia tunaenda kuishi katika ufalme na jamaa huyo no. see <laughs> see hapana that's the devil in the message huyo ni ibilisi katika ujumbe see discrediting god's word akikosea heshima neno la Mungu see you see naona call us puppies ana tuita vijibwa vidogo and the prophet says na nabii anasema never make fun of people who worship in spirit usiwahi kudhihaki watu wanaoabudu katika roho Usiwahi kudhihaki watu wanao abudu. wanao abudu katika roho. So it exposes him. Kwa hivyo inamwanika right down to the time he is cast into the uh, lake of fire hadi wakati ule atakapotupwa katika ziwa la moto in this book of revelation katika kitabu hiki cha ufunuo not just expose satan hakimwaniki tu ibilisi but shows his end lakini kinaonyesha mwisho wake where he ends mahali anamalizikia atakapoishia atakapoishia And I was asking here the other time. Na nilikuwa nauliza hapa ule wakati mwingine. Why would you stand with a guy whose end is predetermined? Kwa nini unasimama na jamaa ambaye mwisho wake umeshajulikana? And the Bible says they who do eh, they who follow him. Na Biblia nasema mwisho wake ni huo na wale wamfuata. Si? 
Sitting as an end. Ibilisi ana mwisho. And when Jesus was here, na Yesu alipokuwa hapa, he cried. Alilia. Said, why have you come to destroy us before the time? Ibilisi alilia na kasema kwa nini umekuja kutuangamiza kabla ya wakati wetu? Before the time. Kabla ya wakati. You know the time the time for his destruction is there. Anajua wakati wa kuangamizwa kwake uko. Uko. Only he was telling Jesus but you have come a bit early. Ila tu alikuwa anamwambia Yesu umekuja kabla ya wakati huo. But is coming. Lakini anakuja. And all those who commit those things with him. Na wale wote wanaofanya mambo hayo pamoja na yeye. Same. Who doesn't want to be on the winning side? Ni nani hataki kuwa katika ule upande unaoshinda? Now, I was, I was here this morning. Nilikuwa nasikia asubuhi ya leo. Personally, I've never been a fan of sports. Mimi binafsi sijawahi kuwa shabiki wa. Sijawahi kupenda michezo. Sijawahi kupenda michezo. And I've told you I have never been to a field where they are playing football. Na nimewaambia sijawahi kwenda katika uwanja ambao wanacheza mpira. I even don't know where who is playing with who. Hata sijui ni nani anacheza na nani. I attended the last time I was in a field where they are playing football is when I was a student in school. Mara ya mwisho nilipoenda kwa uwanja ambapo wanacheza mpira ni wakati nilikuwa shuleni. But there I had nowhere to go. Lakini hapo nilikuwa sina mahali pa kwenda. See. I'm not interested in those things. Ni wasina. But this morning I heard. Lakini asubuhi leo nilisikia. Besides the football going on. Kando ya mpira kuendelea. That there is betting. Pia kuna huku kupiga kamare. <laughs> kufanya kamare. Did you hear that? Yeah. There is there is betting. Kuna kufanya kamare. You can send some Bahati money. nasibu. To bet which Ubahatishe. Which, which team will win? Ubahatishe uo, ni timu gani itakayoshinda. Na hebu niwaambie. Is this our game? Katika mchezo huu wetu. You don't bet. <laughs> Ubahatishe. We are sure the who the winner is. Tuna uhakika ni nani atakayeshinda. He has never lost one match. Hajawahi kupoteza mchezo hata mmoja. When he went to, for the match with the Goliath, alipoenda kwa mchezo dhidi ya Goliath, he, he won. Alishinda. When he went to the match with the, with the Pharaoh, alipoenda kwa match na Pharaoh, he, he won. Alishinda. Amen. <laughs> when they played with the devil on the cross, walipocheza na ibilisi kule msalabani, the, the, when the devil thought he had all the goals, Wa, wakati ibilisi alirudi, alikuwa ame sasa anafunga bao zote dhidi yake. On the third day, siku ya tatu, very early in the morning, mapema, he came out. Alitokea with a golden cup akiwa na kikombe cha dhahabu itano life uzimu wa milele si. so the winner is here the winner is known upande huu mshindi anajulikana there is about who the winner is hakuna kubahatisha mshindi ni nani and in, in any case na hata hivyo the opponent am mpinzani wetu god first mpinzani wake alikiri to the one they are, the one they are competing with alikiri mbele ya yule alikuwa anashindana naye that you are the winner but you have come too early <laughs> wewe ndio mshindi kweli lakini umekuja mapema we want to be on the winning side Una, tunataka kuwa katika upande wa kushinda it doesn't matter what happened haijalishi ni nini kinatukia you know the pharaoh cannot kill you unajua ujamaa huyu hawezi kukuua he can destroy your temple anaweza kuangamiza hekalu lako but you live in the temple lakini unamwatia hekalu una, you move unasonga then at the end of it all alafu mwisho wote you will come and pick the same temple utakuja na uchukue hekalu hilo hilo si. amen si. This is a good what? This is a good this is a good game. A hii game ni nzuri. Amen. It's a good game. Hii game ni nzuri. Now. He's a loser. Ah yeye ni mshindwa wakati wote. So uh, he fights that. Kwa hiyo yeye upigana na hiyo, he cannot stand it. Hawezi kusimama mbele yake. Hawezi kuisili. He knows that anajua ya kwamba if the people get the true revelation of the true church. Watu wakipata ufunuo wa, wa lile kanisa la kweli, wa, ufunuo, ufunuo wa kweli, wa lile kanisa la kweli, kanisa, la kweli. And what she is? Na kanisa hilo ni nini? Na kile lilicho. Na kile lilicho. What she stands for? Kile anachosimamia ni nalo. Kile kile linalosimamia and that she can do the greater works na ya kwamba linaweza kufanya zile kazi kuu she will be an invisible army litakuwa jeshi lisiloshindwa if they get a true 
submission of the two spirit watu anaogopa anaogopa watu akipata ufunuo wa, wa kweli wa zile wa, wa, ufunuo wa zile roho mbili ufunuo wa kweli wa ufunuo wa kweli wa zile roho mbili within the framework of christian church katika zinazo patikana katika ukristiano eneo, eneo la ukristiano and by God's spirit na kwa roho wa Mungu wakiwa, wakiwa na roho wa Mungu design wapambanue wapambanue and we stand the antichrist spirit na waipinge hii roho ya mpinga Kristo calling is your church inayojiita yenyewe kanisa in the church katika kanisa they wreck with a true revelation wakiwa na ufuno wa kweli they they recognize that for spirit is their ministry watambue hiyo roho ya uongo kati yao ya uongo iliyo miongoni mwao and with the standing na waipinge not outside them sio nje yao but in their midst iliyo miongoni mwao see and that's what the scripture said na hivyo ndivyo maandiko yalisema see and that's what the prophet also has spoken to us na hivyo ndivyo pia nadia ametunenea discernment of spirit upambanuzi wa roho See? Satan will be powerless before that church. Ibilisi atakuwa hana uweza mbele ya kanisa hilo. He will be definitely thwarted today. Bila shaka atashindwa leo. As, as when Christ with the students has every effort. Kama vile Kristo alishinda juhudi zake zote to gain power over him. Kupata uwe, kufa, na uweza juu yake in the desert. Kule jangwani. Yes. Naam. Satan hates the revelation. Ibilisi anachukia ufunuo. But we love it. Lakini sisi twaupenda. With the true revelation, tukiwa na ufunuo wa kweli in our lives, katika maisha yetu, the gates of hell cannot prevail against us. Malango ya kuzimu hayatatushinda. Haiwezi. Haiwezi kutushinda. But we will prevail over them. Lakini tutayashinda malango hayo. Amen and amen. That's why the Holy Spirit has spoken to us. Ndio maana Roho Mtakatifu ametunenea this word maneno haya possessing the enemies yes. kumiliki malango ya adui no page 42 there ukurasa 42 hapo so remember we have said kumbukeni tumesema the same uh, pagan roman spirit roho ile ile ya kipagani ya, ya, ya roho ile ile ya kipagani ya roma is a same spirit ni roho hiyo hiyo calling itself christian rome inayojiita roma ya kikristi ukristiano wa roma okay, roma ya roma ya kikristiano sorry hmm. so from the uh, revocation of the edict of nantes kwa hilo kutoka kubatilishwa kwa ile amri ya nantes we talked about that uh, edict of nantes tule zungumza juu ya hiyo amri ya nantes to the french revolution hadi kwa mapinduzi ya ufaransa 1789 mwaka 1789 the persecution occasioned by the revocation of the edict of nantes that is the edict that was that gave christians freedom of worship yani ni amri ile iliyowapa wa kristiano uhuru wa kuabudu Later there came another king Badai kukaja mfalme mwingine who revoked aliyebatilisha After the revocation baada ya kubatilishwa kwa amri hiyo what occasioned the revocation kile kilicho leta kilicho kilichofuata uh, kuondolewa huko amri hiyo took place under Louis kulifanyika kulifanyika chini ya Louis wa 14 This edict was made by Henry the Great of France. Amri hii iliwekwa na Henry mkuu wa Ufaransa in uh, in 1598. Mwaka 1598 and secured to the Protestants an equal right in every respect. Na wakapatia Protestanti haki sawa katika hali zote whether civil or religious. Ziwe za kiraia au za kidini with the other subjects of the realm asawa sawa na wale watu wengine wote wa ufalme all those privileges fursa hizo zote louis the 14th confirmed to the protestants by another statute louis wa 14 aliwapa wa protestant kupitia alizidhibitisha kupitia sheria nyingine called the edict of 
nisimes iliyoitwa sheria ya nisimes and kept them in inviolably to the end of his reign na sheria hizo na akawe na hiyo sheria akaona ya kwamba imeendelea namna hiyo hadi mwisho wa utawala utawala wake on the occasion of Louis the 14th katika kuchukua mamlaka on the accession of Louis the 14th katika kuchukua mamlaka kwa huyu Louis wa 14 the kingdom was almost ruined by civil war ufalme karibu uharibiwe na vita vya ndani kwa ndani at this critical juncture ah katika wakati huu wa, the uh, protest muhimu sana wa protestanti Heedless of our laws admonition bila ku, wakikosa, wakikosa kuti kukumbuka maonyo maonyo ya Kristo mm -hmm. ya Bwana mm -hmm. that they that take the sword shall perish with the sword ya kwamba wale wanaobeba upanga wao kwa wao wa, wa kwa upanga watangamia kwa huo huo au kwa upanga They took such an active part in favor of the king. Walishiriki vita upande wa mfalme kumunga mkono. Kumunga mkono mfalme that he was constrained to acknowledge himself indebted to their arms for his establishment of the throne. Kwa bana mfalme alichukua alichukua kwamba pia yeye anadeni kwao maana wamemsaidia kukalia kitu vizuri. Vizuri. Instead of cherishing cherishing and rewarding that party who had fought for him badala ya kufurahia na kuzawadi kuupande ule uliopigana ule mpigania he reasoned that the same power which had pro, uh, protected could overturn him ali akachukua ya kwamba upande nguvu uweza ule ule uliomlinda uli unaweza pia kumpindua and listening to the popish machinations na akisikiliza hila za kipapa he began to issue out prescriptions Aka, and restrictions akaanza kutoa marufuku na vikwazo indicative of his final determination vilivyoonyesha mwelekeo wake wa mwisho i better explain that afadhali nieleze hiyo listen sikilizeni you see When the Christian and the Protestants were protected by uh, uh, by the king's order wakati wa Kristiano walilindwa na amri ya mfalme the Protestants wa, wa, wakati wa Protestant walilindwa na amri ya mfalme and another one came and issued the father father orders to protect them na mfalme mwingine akaja akatoa amri zaidi za kuwalinda By the time Louis the 14th was coming to the throne. Fikia wakati ule Louis wa 14 alikuwa anapanda kwa kiti. Now the empire ufalme wasn't stable. Ufalme hauko unasimama vizuri. There were threats. Kulikuwa na vitisho. To his rule. Uvitisho dhidi ya uongozi wake, utawala so, wake. So there were internal internal fighting. Kwa hivyo kulikuwa na vita vya ndani kwa ndani. Some wanting to overthrow him. Wengine wakitaka kumpindua. Some supporting him. Wengine wakimuunga mkono. And for him. Na wakimpigania. The Protestants. Wa Protestanti. To please the one who had uh, issued orders for their rights and protection. Wa Protestanti ili, ili kumfurahisha yule, yule alie toa amri za kuwalinda na kuwapa fursa na na, na kuwapa haki kwa sababu wengine mm -hmm. also joined those who are fighting uh, for the stability of the king's rulership president pia akajiunga na wale waliokuwa wakipigania kudumisha utawala wa mfalme that's Louis the 14 ambaye ni Louis wa 14 that's what it said here ndivyo ilisema hapa they took up arms walichukua silaha as an act of appreciation to the king kama tendo la kusema asante kwa mfalme la tendo la shukrani kwa mfalme and finally na mwishowe and truly na bila shaka the king's rulership stabilized ufa uongozi wa mfalme ukaimarika he defeated his enemies akawashinda wapinzani wake internal enemies wapinzani wa ndani 
and the protestants na wa protestanti had a big hand in it walihusika sana katika ushindi huo to me, uh, to see that the king the king's uh, rule Kwane, of, kwamba, or the king's throne kwamba kiti cha mfalme protected kililindwa now that was a right thing na hilo halikuwa jambo lizuri What happened? Kilichofanyika once the king was uh, once the king's rule was stable. Mara tu ufalme uongo uh, utawala wa mfalme ulipoimarika. He said they have, oh, akasema wa Yes, they have done good to fight for me. Ndio, wamefanya vizuri kunipigania the protesters. Hawa protestant they put a lot of effort waliweka juhudi nyingi Wame, wameweka juhudi nyingi but lakini if they can use kama the wana, same zeal they have used <laughs> kama wanaweza kutumia juhudi zile zile ambazo wametumia kunilinda they can use the same power wanaweza kutumia uweza huo huo to overthrow me kunipindua so what did he do kwa hivyo alifanya nini he reversed the orders aka aka akabatilisha ile amri yake He saw them aliwaona as also potentially dangerous kama pia walio wa, watu wa hatari if they turn against him kama wangemgeuka with the same zeal wakiwa na juhudi for him wakiwa na juhudi ile ile ambayo wamempigania his, ru, his, his rulership would be in danger wa, utawala wake ungekuwa hatarini so what did he do kwa hivyo alifanya nini he started akaanza proscriptions Ah akaanza marufuku kupiga marufuku kupiga marufuku any restrictions na vikwazo kuweka vikwazo vingi indicative of his final determination vilivyo onyesha mwelekeo wake lengo la eh, lengo lake his his determination kile alichokusudia kufanya against who dhidi ya nani eh wa protesta the protesters vidi ya wa protestant rochele was presently fettered with an incredible number of denunciations ah uh, huyo rochele wakati huu alilimbikiziwa uh, mashtaka mashtaka mengi si that was a protestant alikuwa protestant montoban Montoban and Milo na Milo were sacked by soldiers walifutwa waka, huh? wakafutwa na askari Popish commissioners makamishin makamishina wa kipapa were appointed to preside over the affairs of the protestants waliteuliwa kusimamia mambo ya wakateuliwa wa... makomishina wa kikatoliki wa kipapa wakateuliwa kusimamia mambo ya, ya wa, wa protestant. protestant now listen sikilizeni Who played this politics? Nani alicheza siasa hii? Falme. The Roman Catholics. Ah, oh, kanisa la Kikatoliki. They, they, they told They told Louis the 14th. Walimwambia huyo mfalme Louis wa 14. This protestant. Hawa wa protestanti. The way they have fought for you. Yinsi wamelivyo kupigania. Hmm. They turned the same zeal against you. Wakigeuka wakiwa na juhudi hiyo hiyo dhidi yako. Watumie juhudi hizo hizo dhidi yako you are done. Umekwisha. And he listened. Na akasikiliza. He listened to that propaganda. Alisikiliza propaganda hiyo. Akasikiliza. Akasikiliza propaganda hiyo. Si. So, kwa hivyo he, he turned around, he turned around. Akageuka. He sacked these protestants. Akawafuta kazi hawa wa protestant. He denounced them. Akawakana. See? And there was he appointed commissioners over the affairs of the protestants na akateua makamishina kusimamia mambo ya wa protestant and there was no appeal from their ordinance na hakukuwa na rufaa hungepiga rufaa dhidi hao wasimamishi wa makamishina wakisema jabo wa protestant angeweza kufanya nini piga rufaa piga rufaa kujitetea au kujitetea except the king's council isipokuwa angejitetea tu kwa baraza la mfalme 
This struck at the root of their civil and religious exercises. Hii ilikaingilia kimizizi. Ya? Hii ikaingilia kimizizi ya mambo yao ya kiraia na ya kidini. The Protestants. Hawa Protestant. To the roots. Hadi kwa mizizi. And prevented them. Na kuwazuia. Being Protestants. Wakiwa wa Protestant. From suing a Catholic in any court of law. Yani wasiweze kumushitaki. Kwa ba hawana ruhusa kumushitaki mukatoleki yoyote katika court law. Lord. Katika koti yoyote. Hmm. No matter what he does to you. Hata haijalisha amekufanyia nini. Protestant hangeweza kumshtaki. This was followed by another injunction. Hii ikafuatiwa na amri nyingine to make an inquiry in all parishes. Yaani kuchunguza parokia zote kufanya uchunguzi katika paroki, ha? parokia zote into whatever protestants had said or done for 20 years past wachunguze chochote ambacho protestant protestant <laughs> amefanya au, au kutenda miaka 20 iliyo iliyopita This filled the prisons with the innocent victims. He ikajaza magereza na wahadhiriwa wasio na hatia. And condemned others to the galleys or banishment. Na, na kuhukumu wengine kunyongwa, kunyongwa au kufu, kuhamishwa, kufu, au kuhamishwa, kuhamishwa. kufuzwa kutoka nchi hiyo. Nchi hiyo. Oh what a turn of events. Oh jinsi mambo yalivyogeuka. Oh if only if Kama, only they depended on God as their protection. Kama tu wangemtegemea Mungu kama msaada wao, mlinzi wao. See? Naona Protestants wa protestanti were expelled from all offices walifukuzwa kutoka wakafukuzwa kutoka kwa afisi zote wakafutwa wakafutwa kazi kutoka kwa afisi zote trades taaluma biashara biashara privileges uh, haki haki and employees na uajiri wajiri in other words you are sacked yani unafutwa kazi because you are a protest kwa sababu wewe ni protestant you can get you can be allowed in in in, in trade uwezi kuruhusiwa kufanya biashara au kufanya biashara because you are a protestant kwa sababu wewe ni protestant you have no right huna haki human right huna hata haki za binadamu kwa sababu wewe ni protestant you can get a job uwezi kupata kazi because you are protestant kwa sababu wewe ni protestant thereby hapo hapo depriving them of the means of getting their bread hapo ikawa fursa ya kupata mkate wao kila siku chakula kupata chakula and they proceeded to such excess hata wakaendelea in this brutality hata wakaendelea kwa, kwa uh, uh, katika hali ya juu ya huu nyama that they would not suffer or allow even the midwives to officiate hata hawange ruhusu wakunga kuwahudumia kina mama kina wazito waja wazito wa protestanti but compelled their women to submit themselves in that crisis of nature to their enemies lakini wakawalazimisha wanawake wa protestant yani, hawange ruhusu protestant mwanamke kuhudumia mwanamke mwenzie but you had to seek the 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 what lakini ulikuwa the utafute... service, you had to seek the help of your enemy lakini ulikuwa a Catholic woman ulikuwa utafute... maid mtafute mkunga mkatoliki to, to assist duyaku. you in that situation akusaidia katika hali hiyo that reminds me of Egypt eh? Hiyo inanikumbusha Misri. Let's read here a bit. Tusome hapa kidogo. 
Am I not saying it's the same spirit? Yes, the same ni roho. Sijasema ni roho hiyo hiyo. Listen. Who are doing this? Nilikana nani wanafanya hivi? They were doing it in the name of Christianity. Christianity. Walikuwa wanafanya hivi katika jina la Ukristiano. And what do we see? Na tuliona nini? That though that spirit called is of Christianity. Kwa sababu ingawa roho hiyo ingawa roho hiyo ilijiita Ukristiano. But it was the same old pagan what? Lakini ilikuwa ni roho ile ile ya zamani ya kipagani. Now if you read Exodus 1, ukisoma kutoka mlango wa kwanza and we, maybe we can read we can start with the Genesis 15. Pengine tunaweza kuanza na mwanzo mlango wa 15. Genesis 15. Ah mwanzo mlango wa 15. Now look for verse 15. Tafuta mstari wa 15. Mwanzo 15 mstari wa 13. Genesis 15. Mwanzo mlango wa 15. We are reading from verse 13. Tunasoma kutoka mstari wa 13. And he said unto Abraham No over surety Nas, I'm reading Genesis 15 Nasoma mwanzo 15 from verse 13 kutoka mstari wa 13 And he said unto Abraham No over surety that thy seed shall be stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years that's quite a long time huo ni muda mrefu Imagine you are under affliction for 400 years. Wazia ukiwa chini ya mateso kwa miaka 400. If it were today, kama ingekuwa leo, well, that would take us back to to around 16. Hiyo inge 1619. Ingetuja katika nyuma mwaka 1619. Imagine from 1619. mwaka 1619. Tumekuwa tukiteswa. Tukiteswa. Toka like mwaka 1619 is is it not quite a long time? Je, huwa si muda mrefu kweli kweli? 1613 Our great great grandfathers were suffering the way we are suffering. Yaani mababu wa mababu wa mababu zetu walikuwa wanateseka. Toka mwaka 1619 And God is great. Na Mungu ni mkuu. Neno lake linapaswa kuaminiwa. Because at the end of that period, kwa sababu mwisho wa wakati huo, wa muda huo, Bwana akatokea. The same God. Mungu yule yule. Miaka mia, Mungu yule yule aliyesema miaka 400. Finally at the end of the period, mwisho wa muda huo, God appeared. Mungu akatokea. He said I remember. Akasema nimekumbuka. Amen. I remember. Nimekumbuka. Let me tell you. Hebu niambie. He remembers every promise that he has given us. Yeye hukumbuka hadi kila ahadi ambayo ametupa. Hadi anayotuma Mungu wetu na nini? Hukumbuka. He remembers he, he promises the rapture. Yeye hukumbuka kama alitoaahidi kunyakuliwa. Anakumbuka ali. Oh, he has forgotten. Unafikiri amesahau? He still remembers. Bado anakumbuka. I promise them rapture. Niliwaahidi kunyakuliwa. I promise to send them Elijah the prophet. Niliwaahidi kuwapelekea Elia yule nabii. What was that? Ni nini hiyo? Listen. 500 years before Christ. Miaka 500 kabla ya Kristo. 500 years. Miaka 500. Then, alafu 1900 years after Christ. Miaka 1900 baada ya Kristo. How many years are those? Ni mingapi hiyo? 1200. Millenniums. Hiyo ni milenia mbili. Almost 2 millenniums and a half. Karibu milenia mbili na nusu. 2000 almost 2500 years. Ka, karibu miaka 1200. Amen. And he says I remember I promised them Elijah Akasa, the prophet. Nakumbuka niliwaahidi Elia yule nabii. And here he is with us. Na ndio huyo pamoja nasi. See, you see his word is a seed. Neno lake ni mbegu. Clear? Sawa. You see the, the, we have grass out there. Naona tuko na nyasi hapo nje. If you roll us a, a, a stone there. Ukiweka ukitivingirisha jiwe pale. And cover that grass. Na ufunike nyasi ile. Right? Sawa. And stay for 10 years. Na ukae jiwe hilo likae hapo miaka 10. The time you roll the stone. Wakati ule utaondoa jiwe hilo. There will be grass there germinating. Kutamea nyasi hapo. Nobody will come to plant grass. Hakuna atakayekuja kupanda nyasi Amen. hapo. Why? Kwa nini? That is the word of God. Hilo ni neno la Mungu. It's a seed. Ni mbegu. And it cannot die. Na haliwezi kufa. 
you can crucify it unaweza kulisulubisha you can put it in the grave unaweza kuliweka kaburini you can get 50 men to roll a rock and close the the, the, the grave unaweza kuchukua watu 50 wavingirishe jeo wafunike kaburi but the, the, the word will come out lakini neno litatokea he said on the third day lesaba siku ya tatu amen he is the oil I am resurrected. Eh, hey, But there is a big stone. Lakini kuna jiwe. Try help me or roll this stone. Ni saidieni mwondoe jiwe hili. He not only resurrected. Hakufufuka tu. He rolled the rock. Alivingirisha jiwe hilo. Na akalikalia. As the sisters, why are you worried? You Akauliza dada, mwali. Why are you worried? Mna wasiwasi gani? Don't you remember the word? Hamukumbuki neno. See, God tell them he is resurrected. Endeni muambie nime amefufuka. Possible they thought it was a man. Kwanza walifikiri ni mwanamume tu kwa kawaida. Oh gentleman. Aze eh bwana. Excuse me sir. Bwana. If you are the one who has stolen him. Kama wewe ndiye umemwiba, tell us where you have hid him. Tuambie mahali umemficha. What did I tell you when I was still with you? Niliwaambia nini nilipokuwa ni ngali pamoja nanyi? Go tell my disciples. Endeni muambie wanafunzi wangu. I'm risen. Nimefufuka. It's great to hang on the word. Ni jambo kuu kuninginia kwa neno. Let me brethren, if we believe this word. Ukiamini na hili. It promises a kingdom. Linatuahidi ufa. Linatuahidi ufa. Is you remember? Bado anakumbuka. He keeps his word. Yeye huchunga neno lake. He keeps he keeps his promises to us. Yeye hutimiza ahadi zake kwetu. Ni kweli ndio kweli. Ahadi zake si kweli. Neno lake Mungu la dumu. Ahadi zake si kweli. Oh he keeps his word. Yeye utimiza neno lake. I'm, I'm on Genesis. Genesis Niko, 15. Kitabu cha Mwanzo mlango 15. 13. Ufukurasa wa Abraham. 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 No over sure that thy seed shall be stranger in a land that's not theirs and no over sure. Ujue kwa hakika. See. And shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. And see how he judged them when he came. Unaona jinsi alivyo hukumu alipokuja? He said you are not going to have water. Alisema hamtapata maji, hamtakuwa na maji. Everything will be deep blood. Kila kitu kitakuwa damu. Today you are not going to sleep on your bed. Na leo hamtalala vitandani mwenu. They will be full of lies. Tutakuwa kumejaa chawa. Chawa. And your children will cry all over. Na watoto wenu watalia will be frogs. Kila mahali kutakuwa ni vyura. Watoto wenu watalia na kupiga mayai kila mahali nitaleta vyura. <laughs> Amen. He said that nation of the judge. Alisema taifa hilo nitalihukumu. And finally, na mwishowe, everybody had a funeral at in his homestead. Kila mtu ali alikuwa na mazishi. Akawa na mazishi. Wake nyumbani. Wake nyumbani. For see, you rose up. Wakuwa unge. Your first born was dead. Unaamka unakuta mzali wako wa kwanza amekufa. If it's a first born of a cow, it's dead. Kama ni mzaliwa wa kwanza wa ngombe amekufa. First First born of a cat is dead. Mzali wa kwanza wa paka amekufa. There were not only corpses of, of humans. Hakukuwa tu na mizoga ya wanadamu. There were also corpses of animals. Kulikuwa pia na mizoga ya wanyama. Why? Kwa nini? I afflict that nation. Nitalihukumu taifa hilo. See? Now. Will I judge and afterward shall come, shall they come out with the great substance baadaye watatoka na mali mengi the slaves will come out with great substance watumwa watatoka wakiwa na mali nyingi you know what happened when Una... israel listen when god punished uh, egypt wakati mungu aliadhibu misri finally ended up with the corpses mwishowe waka, wakawa na maiti nyingi oh nobody want these people near again hakuna mtu aliyetaka kuwa na watu hawa karibu tena let them go let them go acha waende That we are going to be finished. Ah, tutakwisha. Let them go, let them go. Wa, Wacheni waende. 
and somebody would get gold mtu angechukua dhahabu give to an egyptian woman get gold muisraeli angempa mwanamke muisraeli to an israel woman angempa mwanamke muisraeli the enemy would get this adui angechukua hiki give to you na kukupa wewe No wonder. Si ajabu. When they were making the golden calf. Walipokuwa kitengeneza ile ndama wa dhahabu. Walikuwa na dhahabu ya kutosha. They came out rich. Walitokea wakiwa na tajiri. Wakiwa na dhahabu nyingi. And that's God. Huyo ni Mungu. 400 years. Miaka 400. And it happened exactly as the Lord had promised. Na ili kabisa kama vile Bwana alikuwa ameahidi. See? Oh that's exactly. Wewe ni ukweli wa mambo. That's exactly. Now, now sasa, we, we go to Exodus. Twende sasa kwa kitabu cha kutoka. Exodus 1. Kutoka mlango wa kwanza. How wonderful it is to know the secret of the word of God. Jinsi ilivyo ajabu kujua siri ya neno la Mungu. Now Now if you look at verse 7 ukiangalia kifungu cha saba, and the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and works exceedingly, exceedingly mighty and the land was filled with them Egypt was filled with them Imisri ikaja wa Israeli Now there arose up a new king over Egypt which knew not Joseph and he said unto his people Behold the people of the children of Israel are more than more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when they are, they are fallen out in a war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. See? And so get them up out of the land. Get, get us out out of the land. Therefore, They did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities and python uh, cities python and ramses but the more they afflicted them the more they multiplied and grew and they were grieved because of the children of Israel and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with the rigor with the rigor kwa ukali and they made their lives bitter with the hard bondage in mo in mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field all their service wherein they made them serve was with the rigor and the king of egypt spake to the hebrew midwives there we are now ndio hiyo hapo did you get verse 15 umepata msada 15 And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives of which the name of the one was Sifra Sifra see and the name of the other poor and he said when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools it be a son then ye shall kill him but if it be a daughter then shall 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 live but the midwives feared god the way the way israelite and did, did not as the king of egypt commanded them but saved the the men children alive and the king of egypt called for the midwives and said unto them why have you done this thing and have saved the men children alive and the midwives said unto the pharaoh because the hebrew women are not as the egyptian women for they are lively and are delivered here that is before the midwives come in unto them <laughs> they don't need us by the time we reach there kitambo tufike is, is already nursing the word tayari ananyonyesha mtoto mm. was that true <laughs> therefore god dealt with the midwives and the people multiplied and works very mighty and it came to pass because the midwives feared god that he made them houses that he made them houses 
And Pharaoh, that is God. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born, he shall cast into the river. And every daughter, he shall save alive. That's when Moses was, was born. At the height of the persecution, the deliverer is born. And let me tell you another wonderful thing. That God had it over kwamba Mungu alikabidhi the deliverer alimkabidhi mkombozi to the palace of the enemy kwa ikulu ya adui utalea huyu <laughs> i'll punish you with him but you are going to to bring to rear him for me nitakuadhibu kupitia yeye lakini eh? utanilelea <laughs> amen <laughs> you know god is god is tricky <laughs> Mungu ni pia ni mchanja. You, if you want to play a game, don't play with God. Ukitaka kucheza mchezo usicheze na Mungu. You will have you before the game starts. Atakushinda kabla mchezo hau. Haujaanza. Amen. And that is that's that is our player. That's our captain. Na huyo ndo captain wetu. Amen. We shall we shall win. Tutashinda. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome Satan's power. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome Satan's power. Jesus overcame. Jesus overcame. Jesus overcame Satan's fall. Jesus overcame. Jesus overcame. Jesus overcame Satan's fall. And he said this. Now listen, my hivi. He shall overcome. Mutashinda. Because I have overcome. Kwa kuwa ni meshinda. And if you read the message. All the messages of the Holy Spirit to all the seven church ages including this one Na ukisoma ujumbe wa Roho Mtakatifu kwa makanisa yote saba hadi kanisa hili he says he that anasema yule ashindae They overcame in Ephesus walishinda eh, katika Ephesus age, na kizazi kingine chote God, Jesus Christ has overcome us from this generation Na Yesu anawashindi kutoka kizazi hiki Amen That's exactly Amen. See. Now. So that's what happened. Kwa hivyo hicho ndicho kilichofanyika. See. Mm. Now. You can you can fight God. Uweze kupigana na Mungu? Like this preachers of the message listen. Kama hao wahubiri wa ujumbe sikilizeni. Kama ujumbe msikilize vizuri. Mm. Stop stop fighting us. Acheni kupigana na sisi. Go, you can win this. Hamwezi kushinda hii. This is not politics. Hizi si siasa. Right? Mm -hmm. This is not politics. Hizi si siasa. Now, let's come back to this. Turudi kwa kitabu chetu. So, the kwa Protestants. Kwa hivyo wa Protestant another way they were afflicted. Njia nyingine ambayo waliteswa kupitia is that ni kwamba they were prevented from using their protestant uh, uh, midwives walizuiwa kutumia wakunga wao wa kiprotestanti kwa sairia they were given the roman catholic midwives wakapewa wakunga wa kikatoliki see we also saw pia tuliona a, a, protest, a protestant no matter what a, a roman catholic had done to you, you could not see him in 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 any court tuliona ya kwamba mprotestanti haijalishi mkatoliki angekuwa amekufanya nini hungeweza kumshtaki kwa kote yote protestants protestants were expelled from all offices wa protestanti wakafukuzwa kutoka kwa ofisi zote trade ah uh, biashara privileges uh, haki, haki and employees na hata kuajiri uh, kuajiriwa thereby depriving them of the means of getting their bread hapo kuanyima kinyimwa kinyimwa kabisa jia ya kupata chakula chao and they proceeded to such excess in this brutality na wakaendelea kwa hali ya juu katika unyama huu 
that they would not suffer or allow even the midwives to officiate kwamba hata hawange ruhusu wakunga kwa protestant wa, wa, wa kunga kwa kuhudumia protestant wa, wa mama wajazito, wajazito. Hmm. but compel their women lakini wakawalazimisha wakawalazimisha wanawake wa protestant to submit themselves in the cre uh, uh, in that crisis wakawalazimisha wa to their enemies wakawalazimisha wanawake wa protestant katika hali hiyo kutafuta huduma kwa kutoka kwa adui zao yani wakunga wa kikatoliki the brutal catholics hawa yeah. wa katoliki wa nyama their children were taken from them to be educated by the catholics watoto wao wakachukuliwa kusomeshwa na wakatoliki yeah so when they were born baada ya kuzaliwa watoto wao walipozaliwa mm -hmm. they were taken by the catholics walichukuliwa na wakatoliki to be educated by the catholics kusomeshwa na wakatoliki to be indoctrinated waweze kupatiwa itika uh, mafundisho ya kikatoliki and at and at seven years of age na katika, kufi, na katika umri wa miaka saba wakiwa wakiwa na umri wa miaka wakitimiza umri wa miaka saba made to embrace popery walifanya kukumbatishwa kujiunga na dini ya kikatoliki ya kipapa ya kipapa the reformed wa prohibit the protestant were prohibited from relieving their own sick opua wa protestanti wakakatazwa wakapigwa marufuku kuhudumia wagonjwa wao wagonjwa wao au, au maskini wao from all private worship kutoka ibada zote za kibinafsi in other words they were they were forbidden yani, the protestant were forbidden to help their sick or their poor wa protestanti walikatazwa kuhudumia wagonjwa wao au maskini wao they were also forbidden pia walikatazwa from all private worship kutoka ibada yote ya kibinafsi you cannot even shut yourselves in a house hata mwezi kujifungia and order service hamwezi kujifungia nyumbani na kuwa na ibada na kuwa na ibada kwenye nyumbani, nyumbani. Mm -hmm. and divine service was to be performed in the presence of a popish Priest. Na ibada yoyote ibada yoyote ya kiugu ilipaswa kufanywa bele ya kasisi mkatoliki. Mkatoliki. Mm -hmm. To you. <laughs> Kwa simamia. What you are doing? Aone nini mnafanya? To prevent the unfortunate victi victims from leaving the kingdom. Kuzuia kuazuia kuazuia au kuazuilia. Kuazuilia hawa waadhiriwa wasitoroke wasi kutoka ufalme. All the passages on the frontiers were strictly guarded. Njia zote mipakani zililindwa za kutokea. Za kutokea mipakani zikalindwa sana. Zililindwa. Mm -hmm. Yet, lakini hata hivyo, by the good hand of God, kwa mkono mzuri wa Mungu, about 150,000 protestants escaped their vigilance takriban uh, wa, uh, protestant kama, kama wa protestant 150 waliweza kutoroka ulinzi wao and immigrated to different countries na wakahamia na kuhamia na kuhamia nchi mbalimbali to relate the dismal narrative kueleza hadithi zao za kuhuzunisha Kuele, kueleza hadithi zao abazo maelezo yenyewe yalikuwa uwezi hata kupata picha kamili you cannot even get the real picture hata ungeweza kupata picha kamili si you see oh that's exactly All that has been related so far were only infringement on their established charter. Yote ambayo yameelezwa kufikia hapa ilikuwa tu ni kuvunjwa kuvunjwa kunyimwa haki zao kutoka na ile sheria ilikuwa imewekwa. The edict of Nantes. Ile amri ya Nantes. Au kulingana na kulingana na ile sheria ya Nantes. At length mwisho mwishowe the cruel revocation of that edict 
huku kubatilishwa kwa kwa, 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 kwa hii amri hiyo iliyowapa haki iliyowapa haki ya mm -hmm. finally mshowe passed on the 18th of october 1685 kabatilishwa mwaka uh, tarehe tare 18 mwezi wa 10 mwaka 1685 and was registered the 22nd na ikasajiliwa tarehe 22 Contrary to all form of law. Kinyume ya sheria zote. Instantly. Mara tu. The evil. The evil goons. No goons. The Kora. The goons were, were quartered upon the protestant through the, through, through the realm. Ah uh, mara baada hapo askari wakawekwa kati, uh, katika miongoni mwa miongoni mwa protestant katika ufalme wote and filled all France with the like news na wakajaza ufaransa yote na habari kama hizo that the king would no longer suffer any pro, uh, french protestant in his kingdom ya kwamba mfalme hange ruhusu uh, wa protestant wa wote katika ufalme wake And therefore, na kwa hivyo they must resolve to change their religion lazima waamue kubadilisha dini yao a protestant a protestant here upon uh, kwa ajili ya hiyo the intendants in every parish wasimamizi katika kila parokia which were popish governors and spies ambao walikuwa ni magavana wa kipapa wasimamishi wenyewe viongozi wa serikali walikuwa ni magavana wa kipapa na wajasusi set over the protestants waliwekwa kuangalia wa protestant assembled the reformed inhabitants wakawakusanya hawa protestant mm -hmm. and told them na wakawaambia they must lazima without delay bila kusita bila kugojea bila kungojea turn catholic wageuke kuwa katoliki either free wa ile kwa hiari or by force au kwa nguvu au walazimishwe au walazimishwe the protestants replied wa protestants wakajibu that ya kwamba they were ready to sacrifice their lives walikuwa tayari kutoa dhabihu maisha yao and estates na mali yao to the king wa mfalme but their conscience being god being god lakini dhamiri yao ikiwa ni ya Mungu ni ya Mungu ni ya Mungu they could not so dispose of them hawange kana hawange yachilia hawange yachilia instantly mara moja mara moja kwa mara moja the troops seized the gates and avenues of the cities askari mara moja askari wakachukua wakalida wakachukua ulinzi wa malango na barabara za mji na barabara zote za mji and placing guards in all the passages na wakiweka walinzi katika njia zote za kupitia njia zote za kupitia entered with the sword in hand wakaingia wakiwa na upanga na panga mikononi crying wakilia see they have guarded everywhere unaona wamelinda kila mahali you can't escape wezi kutoroka Everywhere is guarded. Kila mahali kumelindwa. So the rest of the of the of the soldiers entered Wabe, in. Wale askari wengine wakaingia mjini. Cry. Wakilia. Die or be Catholic. Ufe. Muamue. <laughs> Muamue. Kufa. Muamue kufa au muwe wa Catholic au mubadilike kuwa wa Catholic. In short, kwa kifupi, they practiced every wickedness and horror they could devise walitekeleza uovu na unyama wote ambao wangeweza kutunga to force them to change their religion kuwalazimisha wabadilishe dini dini yao they hanged both men and women by their by their hair on their feet waliwanyonga wanawake na wanaume kwa kawa wakawanyonga wanaume kwa wanawake kwa nywele au kwa miguu yao na shikiliwa nywele oh, waliwaninginiza sorry kwa nyongo waliwaninginiza wanaume na wanawake either your legs iwe ni miguu yako or your hair au nywele zako you hang unaninginizwa and smoke them na kufu na kufukizwa moshi wanyasi wanyasi 
until they were nearly dead hata mpaka wakakaribia kufa in other words you are you are you are you are here is tight yani nyole zako zina za kichwa zinafungiliwa mahali juu and you are hung na unaninginizwa with your hair kwa nywele zako under you chini yako they make fire wanatengeneza wanawasha moto of hay moto wa nyasi right and a lot of smoke ukinatoa moshi mwingi you you are in the midst of smoke unakuwa katikati ya moshi oh you are hung with your feet up au unaninginizwa miguu yako ikiwa juu and your head down na kichwa chako kikielekea chini is lit nyasi inawashwa huku chini and you you, you inhale smoke una unapumua in the midst of smoke una unakuwa katikati ya moshi and if they still refuse to sign a recantation na kama baada hapo wali wali kama bado walikataa ku kutia sahihi kukana dini yao kukana kukana dini yao imani yao they hung them up again wali waninginiza tena and repeated their uh, barbarities na wakarudia unyama wao huo unyama wao and still wearing out with the torments without death hadi wakawachosha kwa mateso bila kuwaua they forced men to yield to them wakawalazimisha wengi kukana wakawalazimisha wengi kukana imani yao imani yao others wengine they plucked off wali the hair of their heads walingoa beards with the pincers wengine wakanyoa wakangoa nywele zao za vichwa kungoa wakangoa nywele zao za vichwa au ndevu zao wakitumia koleo others they threw on great fires wengine wakawatupa kwenye mioto mikubwa and pulled them out again na kuwatoa kwa moto tena repeating it wakirudisha wakirudia rudia jambo hilo until they exhorted hadi promised to recant watu hao waka, wa, wa, until they exhorted promised to recant hadi wakaahidi kukana imani yao some wengine they stripped naked waliwavua nguo wakawauchi and offering them to the most infamous insults na kuwa tukana matusi mabaya kabisa they stuck them with the pins from head to foot wakawadunga na pin kutoka kichwa hadi mguu and lance them with the pen knives na wakawachanja chanja na visu vya mkononi and sometimes na wakati mwingine with the red hot pincers wakawachoma na koleo zilikuwa moto kabisa they drag them by the by the nose wakawavuruta kwa kwa pua zao kwa pua kwa pua until they promise to turn hadi wakaahidi wakaahidi kukana wakati mwingine they tied fathers and husbands wakati mwingine walifunga mababa na waume wa, wa husband huh? fathers and husband <laughs> eh, baba na waume while they ravish their wives and daughters huku wakinajisi wake zao na binti zao before their eyes mbele yao macho ni mbele ya macho yao multitudes they imprisoned in the most noisome dungeons watu wengi umati mkubwa ulitiwa gerezani katika hali mbaya mashimo mashimo, mashimo wa mabaya sana ah, uliwa na kelele nyingi where they practice where they practice all sorts of torments in secret ambapo waliwafanyia mateso ya kila aina kisiri their wives and children watoto wao na wake zao na watoto wao they shut up in monasteries waliwafungia katika misheni zao such as endeavor to escape by flight wale waliodhubutu wale waliodhubutu kutoroka wa pursued in the woods walikimbizwa huko misituni and hunted in the fields na wakawindwa huko wanjani wa and shot at like wild beasts na wakapigwa risasi kama wanyama mwitu nor did any condition or quality as screen them from the ferocity of the violence of these infernal dragoons 
wala hakuna hali hakuna hali yoyote huyo huyu ni mtoto huyu ni mgojwa huyu ni mtoto this one is elderly or huyu ni mzee au ni mtoto that was never uh, uh, considered by their persecutor hiyo haiku haikuangaliwa na watesi wao haikujalisha haikujalisha watesi wao even the members of parliament and military officers hata wabunge na afisa wa jeshi though on actual service ingawa walikuwa kazini kihalali wa order to quit their posts waliamriwa walilazimi walilazimishwa kuacha uh, mahali pao pa kazi kama wewe ni mbunge as long as you are protestant Aha. kama wewe ni, ni, ni mbunge na wewe ni protestant you are forced to leave your parliamentary post unalazimishwa kuacha kiti chako cha ubunge if you are a, a military officer kama wewe ni afisa wa jeshi as long as you are a protestant mradi wewe ni protestant you are forced to leave your office unalazimishwa kuacha kazi yako and repair directly to their houses to suffer like storm na waelekee na kutupwa au au kutumwa manyumbani mwao kuteseka hivyo 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 such as complained to the king wale walio lalamika kwa wale walio lalamika kwa mfalme wale walio lalamika kwa mfalme were sent to the bastille walipelekwa huko bastille bastille in france in, in france was like committee bastille huko france ilikuwa ni kama jela ya kamiti yeah it was one Ulinzi of the most famous prisons ni moja ya jela ambazo zilijulikana sana Now those of you who ever read the French history Wale ambao mliwahi kusoma historia ya Fransa you remember the storming of the Bastille Mnakumbuka kuvamiwa kwa hilo gereza la Bastille like a storming of committee Yaani kuvamiwa kwa jela kama ni kama vile useme kuvamiwa kwa jela la committee So some were sent there Kwa hivyo wengine waliipelekwa huko where they drank the same cup Mahali walipata mateso hayo hayo The bishops and the intendants Mabishopu na wasimamizi marched at the head of the dragoons walitembea mbele ya hawa askari mabishop wa kikatoliki walienda ndio walikuwa wanaenda mbele ya watesaji watesaji with a troop of missionaries wakiwa na kundi kubwa la wamishinari monks wa makasisi and other ecclesiastics na watu wengine wa viongozi wengine wa dini to animate that is to excite ili kusisimua soldiers, kusisimua askari to an execution so ah. agreeable to their holy church kwa mateso yaliyokubalika sana na kanisa lao takatifu and so glorious to their demon god na jinsi ilivyokuwa utukufu na ma- mateso yenye utukufu kwa Mungu wao pepo, pepo kwa Mungu wao wa pepo and their tyrant king na mfalme wao mnyama si wakinyama See, the the goons our askari the, <laughs> the goons is like sometimes you find in politics ni kama wakati mwingine katika siasa a president can have his goons rais anaweza kuwa na goons wake hired thugs hawa mikora ya kukodiwa paid by the president wanaolishwa na rais to in, to inflict pain and persecute his opponents ambao wanatesa uh, upinzani wake kazi yao ni kutesa na kutumwa kwenye wale wapinzani wa wanani wa mkubwa. mkubwa even politicians some politicians have hired goon hata wanasiasa wana wakora wao waliowakodisha they are paid by him wanalipwa na yeye and when he has a job to be done na akio, against his opponent akiwa na kazi ya kufanywa dhidi ya mpinzani wake he sends these goons anatuma wakora hao these goons were roman catholic goons hao wakora walikuwa ni wa kikatoliki and when they went to kill people and persecute and what na walipoenda kuwaua watu na kuwatesa they were they were spearheaded by the bishops waliongozwa na mabishopu and other church what na viongozi wa church officials na maafisa wengine wa, wa kanisa to, to, to excite them kuatia I, kuatia moyo that this is the work of god kwamba hii ni kazi ya Mungu informing the edict to, re, to repeal the edict of nantes ah kut, katika kutunga sheria, sheria ya kuondoa ya kubatilisha ile sheria ya nantes the council were divided baraza liligawanyika 
ligawanywa ba, baraza liligawanywa some would have all the ministers detained and forced into popare wengine wagepewa jukumu la kuwafanya ubiri wote wa kiprotestanti wakamatwe wakamatwe na kulazimishwa kuikuwa wakatoleki wa 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 as well as the late na, na pia wafuasi others wengine were for banishing them walitaka hao watu wahamishwe they divide they divide them themselves walijigawanya wenyewe others wengine were used to banish the protestants wengine walitumiwa kuwahamisha wa protestanti because their presence would strengthen the protestants kwa sababu uwepo wao in perseverance uwepo wao wa protestant utawatia wale wengine mo moyo kusimama and if they were forced to, to turn na kama wangelazimishwa kugeuka they would ever be secret and powerful enemies in the bosom of the church wangekuwa wakati wote uh, ni adui wenye nguvu na wakisiri ndani ya kanisa by their great knowledge and experience in controversial matters kwa ufahamu wao mkuu na ujuzi wa controversial matters na Ma mambo ya na mambo yasiyo yasiyo kubalika yasiyo kubalika that is what is the controversial matters here is the word hii na hii sema mambo yasiyo kubalika hapa ni neno controversial here is what the knowledge of the word hii inasemekana hapo mambo yasiyo kubalika the word creates controversy ufahamu wa neno huleta ubishi <laughs> did you know that <laughs> The revelation of the word ufuno, when you have the revelation of the word ukiona, you, are, you appear very controversial ukiona ufunuo wa neno unaonekana kama mtu mbishi sana see controversial that's why you have the that's short <laughs> controversial man of nakuru yule mtu mfupi mbishi wa nakuru revelation of the word makes you controversial ufunuo wa neno unakufanya uonekane mbishi when people are going north wakati watu wanaenda kaskazini you are meeting with them going south wao unakutana na wao ukielekea kusini and it has to be like that. Na ha, haina budi iwe hivyo. Moses was controversial. Musa alionekana mbishi. Clear? Mm -hmm. Jesus was controversial. Yesu alikuwa mbishi. They would not have killed Isaiah. Hawangemua Isaia. Right? Mm -hmm. If he was he was he was somebody agreeable. Kama alikuwa ni mtu wa kupatana. Kama angekuwa mtu wa kupatana. So they will have to get the, rid of them. Kwa hivyo ilibidi waondoe. This reason prevailing sababu hii ikishinda iki ikisimama ama iwepo ikiweko they were sentenced to banishment wali hukumiwa ku, 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 kuondolewa kuondolewa nchini nchini and only 15 days allowed them to depart the kingdom. Na walipewa siku 15 tu. Walipewa siku 15. It's like you are given 15 days to leave Kenya. Ni kama vile upewe siku 15 uondoke Kenya. And there were no trains. Eh? Hakukuwa na train. <laughs> Hakukuwa na gari moshi. And maybe you are not near the border. Na kama huko karibu na na, na, na mpaka. Na karibu na nini? Na mpaka. Na mpaka. And there are no trains, no no buses. Hakukuwa na ba, mabasi, hakukuwa na gari moshi. As why they are given 15 days. Ndio maana wanapewa siku 15 wao siku 15. Kama utaondoka kwa sababu njia ya kuondoka uh -huh. is the fastest is by the horse. Kwa kuwa njia iliyokuwa ya kasi zaidi ya kuondoka ilikuwa ni kutumia farasi. And where would a poor persecuted person get a house? Na sasa mtu maskini anayeteswa angetoa wapi farasi? Atapata farasi wapi? See? On the same day uh, siku hiyo hiyo that the edict for revoking the protestant charter was published ambayo sheria hiyo ya kupinga haki ya protestanti ilipochapishwa they demolish their churches wali bomoa makanisa yao on the same day siku hiyo hiyo that the the revocation of the rights of the protestant was signed siku hiyo hiyo ambayo sheria ya kubatilisha ile sheria ya kuwa Wa, 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 haki ya haki ya protestanti ilipotiwa ilipotiwa sahihi au kichapishwa they demolish their churches wakabomoa makani walibomoa makanisa yao and banish their ministers na kuwafukuza nchini ma, 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 ma huruma wao wa huruma wao wa protestant protestanti whom they allowed but 24 hours to leave paris ambao waliruhusu tu siku walipe waliwapa wali masaa 24 tu waondoke paris waondoke mji wa paris 
the, the puppies would not suffer them or allow them to dispose of their effects. Hawa papa hawange waruhusu watakuuza mali yao. And through every obstacle in their way. Na wakaweka viukwazo zote. Kila kikwazo njiani mwao to delay their escape kuchelewesha kutoroka kwao kondoka kondoka kwao until the limited time was expired hadi wakati wao hadi ule muda waliopewa uishe which subject them to condemnation for life Amba, to the galleys ambayo sasa ingewafanya wahukumiwe wa kifo a uh, wahukumiwe wa maisha au kunyongwa the guards were doubled at the at the seaports askari waliwekwa maradufu wakaongezwa maradufu bandarini kule bandarini mahali wanaweza kutoka na na meli and the prisons were filled with the victims na magereza yalijaa akajaa yakajaa waadhiriwa who endured torments waliovumilia mateso and what na walikuwa na haja na kukosa kukosa nini na, na, na kukosa mahitaji ya mahitaji ya kimsingi na mahitaji ya kimsingi at which human nature must shudder ambayo mambo ambayo mwanadamu anao anaogopa anashtukia anashtuka no water hamna maji no food hakuna chakula you are sick mgo wewe ni mgonjwa no attention hao hauangaliwi au shughulikiwi You are dying of hunger. Unakufa kwa njaa. Dying of thirst. Unakufa kwa kiu. Maybe you are tortured. Pengine umeteswa. Uli. Pengine uliteswa. And you are bleeding. Na umetoa mwaga damu nyingi. You are swollen. Umefura. Mwili umefura. The whole body is in pain. Mwili wako umejaa uchungu. And you say oh the holy roman catholic church. Na wewe unasema ati kanisa takatifu katoliki. Takatifu takataka. I thought. Kanisa takataka katoliki. Si? Si? Now Today when there is civil order in the world leo kukiwa generally leo, leo kukiwa wakati kuko na utulivu kuko na utulivu tumegini na kuna sheria kiwango fulani katika dunia mm -hmm. such people watu kama hao would be tried in the Hague for one hour wangepelekwa mahakama ya ya, ya, ya na, jinai na, ya Hague inatolewa kwa saa moja Sa and today na leo You hear the pope unamsikia pope at is apologizing for those things that were done eti anaomba msamaha kwa mambo hayo yaliyofanywa what is it ni nini hiyo the same devil ni ibilisi yule yule we had been here kama tungekuwa kwa hapo in the days of our fathers katika siku za baba zetu and what is he doing na yeye anafanya nini he's murdering the word anaua neno and he's going to do more harm na atafanya uh, makuu mabaya makuu zaidi You know what? Mnajua nini? Count yourself blessed. Jihesabu mwenyewe mbarikiwa. Because as kwa, Jesus said, Kwa sababu kama Yesu alivyosema, many great men, watu wengi wakuu would want to know these things that you know. Wangetaka kujua mambo yale ambayo wewe unajua. But they won't know. Lakini hawatajua. And they are true. Na ni kweli. As the prophet says, Kama nabii anavyosema, this thing that we believe kitu hiki tunachoamini scientifically kisayansi historically historia biblically kibiblia is true ni kweli scientifically kisayansi everything is true kila kitu ni kweli yet that guy ha, hata hivyo jamaa yule big as he appeared before the world mkuu anavyoonekana mbele ya ulimwengu does not know this thing hajui mambo haya and jesus said na yesu alisema i thank thee o father na kushukuru e baba wa mbinguni baba wa mbinguni na dunia because you have hidden this thing kwa sababu umeyaficha mambo haya kwa wenye hekima na akili na umeyafunulia watoto wao ndivyo baba before so it seemed good na ndivyo ilivyokupendeza in thy sight 
Ndivyo ilivyopendeza machoni pako. Ilimpendeza baba. The, the, the common people hear him gladly. Kwamba kina yahe wamsikie kwa furaha. See you calling brethren. Oh, angalieni mwito wenu ndugu. Not many wise up after the flesh are called. Si wengi wenye hekima kwa ajili ya mwili wameitwa. He didn't say not one. Is that not many? Hakusema hakuna hata mmoja, alisema si wengi. Hakusema hakuna hata mmoja, alisema si si wengi. Mm. Amen and amen. See. Well, I want to release you early today. Nataka kuachilia mapema leo. The sufferings of the ministers and others. Mateso ya wahuduma na wengine, wengineo who were sent to the galleys. Walio pelekwa kwa Kinyonga, Gerezani. Eh? Walio pelekwa Gerezani seem to exceed all. Ilionekana kushinda yote. Chained to the all wakifungili wakifungiliwa ka, kasia au makasia they were exposed to the open air night and day wali waliwekwa wa, wakipigwa na ma, na hali na hali ya maumbile maumbile usiku na mchana you see you are tied there it is a hot actually these girls they it's say cold. are, are prisons prison place in a ship yeah subjected to open air night and day wali walipigwa na hali ya hewa usiku na mchana at all seasons nyakati zote and in all weathers na katika hali ya anga aina yote and when through weakness of body they fainted under the awe na kupitia udhaifu wa mwili wa dhaifu sana mm -hmm. kimwili mm -hmm. chini ya hiyo hiyo kasia Instead of a cordial to revive them, badala na wakiwa katika hali yoko muda mrefu milioni ni midhaifu mtu hana nguvu zozote instead of sending somebody to at least help them badala kutuma mtu angalao kuwasaidia if the water or something wape maji au kitu kingine si si oh or at least any help au angalau msaada wowote to refresh them Ili, even a cup of water wape kikombe cha maji they only they received only the lashes of a scourge walipata tu viboko or the blows of a cane au mapigo ya fimbo or the ropes end au mwisho wa kamba fundo walichapwa kwa kamba for the want of sufficient clothing kwa haja kwa na haja ya kuwa na kuwa na nguo za kutosha ya mavazi ya mavazi and necessary cleanliness na usafi unaohitajika ya kuoga na nguo za kuvaa mm -hmm. they were most grievously tormented, tormented with the vermin waliteswa sana waltese, walipatiwa mateso kupitia wadudu vermin Uh, wadudu kama chawa na nini? Ya yeah, kama chawa kama viroboto red ant au hawa wadudu wekundu si au siafu do you know let me tell you hebu niwaambie here in bahati here hapa bahati there is a farm there called kinoru farm kuna shamba yeah. hapo linaitwa shamba la kinoru during the emergency wakati wa vita vya vya, vya uhuru the kikuyus wa rounded up here wakikuyu waliokusanywa area uh, eneo hili wengine walipelekwa hilo shamba la kinoro that homestead of a mzungu there hiyo nyumba katika boma la huyo mzungu hapo there was a hole na kulikuwa na ukumbi a hole shimo o kulikuwa na shimo the red ants hilo kwa na siafu you know red ants najua siafu eh? <laughs> you are beaten unaumwa and thrown there here Una, unapigwa na kutupwa kwa shimo hilo la siafu They received only lashes. Walipata tu viboko and so forth. Na vitu vinginevyo. See? They were uh, uh, subjected to vermin. Wali They were tormented with the vermin. Waliteswa kupitia uh, wadudu and cruel cruel pinched with a cold. Ah, na kuchuna na na, na kuchuna. Na sana chini ya baridi, ya baridi kali which removed which removed by night the executioners 
who beat and tormented them by day. Baridi ilikuwa kali hivi ambayo iliwafukuza watesi wao usiku. Yeah, hata wenye kuwatesa walisikia hiyo baridi hawawezi kusta. Kustahimili. But they left them there. Lakini wakawaacha hapo. Instead of a bed, badala ya kitanda, they were allowed sick uh, they were allowed sick or well only a hard bed. Badala ya kitanda, wakawa wale waliokuwa na afya na wagonjwa walipatwa tu ubao 18 inches broad ulikuwa na upana wa inchi 18 au futi moja nusu futi moja na nusu just futi moja na nusu ubao wa futi moja na nusu see is your, is your bed ati hicho ndicho kitanda chao ubao wenye upana wa futi moja na nusu ndicho kitanda chao to sleep on walalie without any covering bila kitu cha kujifunika but they are wretched eparo lakini mavazi yao ambayo ilikuwa hafifu which was a shirt of the coarsest canvas ambayo ilikuwa ni shati la material ngumu kama gunia a little junkin of red sage means to say just <laughs> just descriptions of hayo ni maelezo ya mavazi yao yeah, wakati huo terminologies ni matamshi yakeleza mavazi on each side vazi hilo lilikuwa limepasiliwa upande pande zote mbili to the to the arms holes hadi kwa shimo la kutokea vazi kumu kama canvas uh -huh. na limepasuliwa mpaka hapa mahali pa kutokea mkono si uh -huh. with the open sleeves ikiwa na mikono ya wazi haina mikono haina, haina mikono sorry that reached not to the elbow ambayo haikufika hata kwa bega and once in three years na mara moja katika miaka mitatu they had a coarse frock walikuwa na vazi hilo gumu walipewa vazi gumu kabisa and a little cap to cover their heads na kofia ndogo kufunika vichwa vyao which were always kept close shaved as a mark of their infamy vichwa ambavyo vilikuwa vimenyolewa wakati wote vilikuwa vimenyolewa kabisa kama kwa wao ni ni mabusu ni wafungwa mhm The allowance of provision ah, chakula eh? chakula chakula walichopewa was as narrow as the centimeters of those who condemned them to such miseries chakula walichopewa walikuwa ni kichembamba na kidogo sana mm -hmm. and their treatment when sick na matibabu yao walipokuwa wagonjwa is too shocking to, re to relate ni ya kushtua sana ni haliwezi kuelezeka doom to die upon the boards wakiwa, of a dark hole wakiwa wana wa, 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 kufa chini ya mbao chini ya mbao mm -hmm. si uko gizani mm -hmm. covered with the vermin wakiwa wamefunikwa na umejaa umeja wadudu chawa nini Viroboto. and without the least convenience for the cause of nature hata wakiwa hawajapatiwa mahali pa kujisaidia nor was it among the least of the horrors they endured wala haikuwa miongoni mwa miongoni mwa mateso madogo ambayo walipitia that au walivumilia that kwamba as ministers of christ kama wahuduma wa kristo and honest men na watu waaminifu they were chained side by side to felons walifungi walifu, walifungwa kado ka, kado na kado kwa mm, na wakora na wakora like jesus was crucified with what kama vile yesu alisulubishwa yeah? with thieves katikati ya wezi wawili you are taken there walipele kwa pale ministers wahuduma put together with a crew wakawekwa pamoja na wakora somebody who has been arrested here robbing people mtu ambaye amekamatwa pale akiibia watu you are put together wakawekwa pamoja na hao watu waaminifu and the most extrable villains na wakora wale wabaya kabisa wakora wale wabaya mnawekwa pamo? pamoja whose blasphemous tongues ambao were man... never idle <laughs> ambao ndimi zao za kukufuru hazikuwa zinanyamaza no in other words you are here mnawekwa hapa maybe with a woman pengine na mwanamke put it there mnawekwa pale she had bang alikuwa na bangi na changa but you are there because you are christian lakini uko hapo kwa sababu wewe ni mkristiano 
And she said, hey, you are Christian, huh? I am Christian. So why are you, are you asking God to get you out of here? Si why are you here with me? Why are you here with us? Why are you here with us? Exactly as happened with Jesus on Kabisa on kama vile ilivyo tukia na Yesu pale msalabani. If they refused this if they refused to hear mass, kama wangekata kusikiliza misa, they were sentenced to the bastinado that is beating on the feet. Wa, wali, with the stick. Walihukumiwa kuchapwa miguu ni kule miguu. Mguu kwenye nyayo, wa, nye, wayo kutumia kijiti. Of which dreadful punishment the following is description. Ambapo kuna maelezo hapo yanatolewa ya kuhusu adhabu hiyo. Prepa, see, kuna ma, yan, he, this one explains that punishment. Maelezo yanayofuata yanaeleza adhabu hiyo. Preparatory to it. Aya ni kupatayarishwa ya adhabu hii. Unapotayarishwa kupi, kupiwa adhabu hiyo. Kupewa. Unapotayarishwa kupewa adhabu hiyo. The chains are taken off. Mi, minyororo ili ondole, ilifunguliwa. Ikaondolewa. And the victims delivered into the hands of the tax. Na waadhiriwa kakabidhiwa mikononi wa turuki. That preside at the oars. Wanao. Wanao. Wanao simamia. Wanao simamia. Who strip them quite naked. Walio wavua nguo. Wanao wavua nguo wakabaki uchi. And stretching them upon a great gun. Na wakiwanyosha mbele ya bunduki kubwa. They are held so that they cannot stop. Wanashikilwa hivi hata wezi kutikika. During which. Wakati ambao. Their reigns. Ah. There reigns an awful silence throughout the gully. Wakati huo kulikuwa na kimya kikuu katika mahali hapo. The Turk, huyo mturuki, who is appointed the executioner, ambaye ni mtekelezaji mawaji aliyeteuliwa, and who thinks the sacrifice acceptable to his prophet Muhammad. Na mbaya nafikiri dhabiu inayo kubalika kwa nabiu wake Muhammad. See, they even use, you see, they use Muslims, eh? Naona sasa walitumia wa Islam. Most cruelly beat the wretched victim with a rough kajel. Ana mchapa sana kwa ukatili huyu muhadhiriwa. Or not a rope's end. Au kwa kamba ilio sokoto. Until the skin is flayed off his bones. Hadi ngozi inatoka mifupani mwake. And he is near the point of expiry. Na ako karibu kufa. Then they apply a most tormenting mixture of vinegar and salt. Alafu wana mkata. Kuna bako sasa kuna jav majera. Unapakwa. Siki na chumvi. Mchangaji kwa siki na chumvi. And consign him to that most intolerable a hospital where thousands under their cruelties have expired. Wakisha fanya hivyo wana mpeleka mahala po ati ni hospitali mahali ambapo maelfu walikufa baada ya uho katili wao. See? That is your church. Hilo ndilo kanisa lako. That is the mother church. Ati hilo ndilo kanisa la kwanza. That is a Christian church. Ati hilo ndilo kanisa la kikristiano. That's where your brother belongs. Hapo hapo ndipo hapo ndilo hilo ndilo kanisa la ndugu yako. And he's waiting for Jesus to come for him. Na na mungo jaya Yesu aji kumchukua. Those are the guys. How on the jama? The government the government recognizes as the church and we are set. How on the jama? Serikali na watambu. How on the jama? How on the jama? Serikali inatabua ati how do you Kanisa Na sisi ni Ni mchipuko Ni sex Sisi ni mchipuko tu You see The world and us Live in two different worlds Uli mwengu na sisi Tunaishi katika dunia mbali mbali Is that clear? Kweli? Why? Kwa nini? The word Neno Because of Kwa sababu ya nini? Because of the word. Kwa sababu ya neno. Because of the word. Kwa sababu ya neno.
Now, maybe let, I don't know, let me see if I can go through this one here. Then next time, we can start on this uh, inquisition. Tuanze katika uh, uh, mlango huu wa hayo huo uchunguzi mahojiano Maho, mahojiano kuhojiwa kuhojiwa a very very dark part of the history of the so called Catholic Church sehemu ya giza sana ya histori ya, hiki, ya historia hiki kinachoitwa kanisa katoliki inquisition kuhojiwa historians talk about it wanahistoria hunena juu yake Writers talk about it. Wandishi hunena juu yake. Right? Even the media people. Hata wandishi habari. They know about the inquisition. Wanajua kuhusu huku kuhojiwa. Now, let's take another let's take another case here. Tuchukue uh, hali nyingine hapa. Martyrdom of John Callas. Kufia imani kwa John Callas. We pass over many other individual martyrdoms to insight to insert that of John Callas. Tunawaacha habari nyingi. Tunawaacha maelfu wengi waliokufia imani. Tuchukue tu moja ya maelfu hao. We just take one of those thousands. Nachukua moja kati ya maelfu hao, John Callas. Which took place as recently as 1761. Um, uh, Yaliyo tokea. hivi majuzi kama mwaka 1761. You know, recently because this, ni hivi majuzi. This book was written around that time. Kwa sababu kitabu hiki kiliandikwa karibu wakati Not huo. Not far from that time. Simbali sana kutoka wakati huo. And is an uh, is an indubitable proof na ni thibitisho lisilo weza kuka, 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 kukanushwa of the bigotry of popery la um bigotry uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is uh, bigotry bigotry that is the the cruelty of uh, popery uh, uh, ushahidi usio pingika wa u, ukaidi wa upapa See, ukatili wa upapa ukatili and the way they believe and the way the pope believes they are the only ones na, na, or na they vi, are the ones na vile upapa huamini ati wao ndio pekee wale like wa saying here in the morning kama tulivyokuwa tukisema hapa asubuhi claim what kwamba wanadai nini See, wao ndio walio na ile ya, ya, ya kwanza and it shows that na what, inaonyesha kwamba inaonyesha ya kwamba mm -hmm. tuonyesha kwamba neither experience nor improvement can root out the inveterate inveterate that is long time prejudice or hatred ah uh, yani tunaisha kwamba si ujuzi of the roman catholics si ujuzi wala marekebisho uh, kuboreshwa kuna kunakoweza kufutilia kuondoa uh, mateso haya marefu yaliyo or rather them less cruel yale yale tuna wakatoliki au kuyafanya asionekane yasiyo kikatili sana or endless au yasioisha to protestants ha yasioisha kwa wa protestants yasioisha kwa wa protestants dia dia wa protestants now so we take the example tunachukua mfano mmoja john callas john callas john callas was a merchant of the city of of Tolas, John Callas alikuwa ni mfanyabiashara wa mji wa Tolu where he had been settled mambapo mahali ambapo alikuwa na amefanya makao yake anaishi and lived in good repute na aliishi akiwa na sifa mutu, nzuri ya yeah, mtu mwenye sifa nzuri uh -huh. and had married an English woman na alikuwa ameoa mwanamke wa Uingereza of French extraction aliye na, na, na ukoo wa, wa Kifaransa Carlos and his wife Carlos na mke wake were protestants walikuwa wa protestant and had five sons na walikuwa na wana watano whom they educated in the same religion ambao waliwafundisha katika dini hiyo hiyo of prote that is protestant yani u protestant but Lewis lakini Lewis one of the sons mmoja ya wanawe became a roman catholic akafanyika mkatoliki having been converted by a maid servant akisha kugeuzwa dini na mja kazi who had lived in the family aliyeishi katika na jamii hiyo 
about 30 years kama muda wa miaka 30 so they had a maid who was a Catholic. Kwa walikuwa na mja kazi ambaye likuwa mkatoliki. She converted one of their sons. Haka weza kumishawishi mwana wa, moja wa wanawe. To be a Catholic. Awe like mkatoliki. Pamoja na ye. The father however did not express any resentment or ill will upon the occasion. Yule baba hata hivyo. Hakuwenyesha hasira yoyote. Hasira yoyote. Yeah. Juu ya mwanawe ku. Badilisha dini. Kubadilisha wa dini. Mm hmm. But kept the maid in the family. Lakini aka endelea endelea ku kuwa na mjakazi huyo katika na, na, katika jamii. And he settled an annuity upon the son. What is that? Na akamlipia. Oh, what is that name? Na akamlipia. Uh, alikuwa na mlipia. Amlipia mwanae. Yeah. In October. Ah, uh, mwezo wa October. 1761. Mwaka 1761. The family. The family consisted of. Uh, Johnny Callas and his wife. Ilikuwa ni pamoja na John Callas na mkawake. Johnny Jami hiyo sasa ilikuwa na mze. Ilikuwa mze. John Callas na mkawake. His wife. One woman servant. Manamuke moja mjakazi. O mjakazi moja wakike. Mark Anthony Callas. Mark Anthony Callas. The eldest son. Ile mwana mku. And Peter Callas. Na Peter Callas. The second son. Mwana mzali wa wapili. Mark Anthony, Mark Anthony was bred to the law. Alikuwa alikuwa mwana alisomea mwana, alisomea wa, wana sheria. Alisomea sheria. Hmm. But could not be admitted to practice. Lakini hangekubaliwa ku, kuendeleza kuendeleza taaluma hiyo. Hangejiliwa kazi ya wana sheria. Mwana sheria on account of has been a protestant juu ya msingi wa yeye kuwa protestant kwa sababu kwa sababu ya yeye, yeye kuwa protestant hence kwa hivyo he grew melancholy akawa mwenye huzuni read all the books he could procure relative to suicide akasoma vitabu vyote ambavyo angeweza kupata kuhusu kujiua vinaeleza kuhusu kujiua and he seemed determined to destroy himself. Na kaonekana alie azimu kuji maliza. Alie amua. Alie amua kuji uwa. Kuji uwa. To this kwa, may be added that. Kwa hili inaweza kuangezo ya kwamba. He led a dissipated life. Aliishi maisha kama ya upweke. Ya upweke. Wasted life. Ya ambaye haya kuwa na. Na tumaini. Na tumaini. Mutu alie fika mwisho. Aha. Aha was greatly addicted to gaming na a, a, akawa, akawa na uraibu akawa maish, wakati wote anatumia kukwa michezo kwa michezo and did all which could constitute the character of a libertine na akafanya yote ambayo that is irresponsible and carefree man aliishi maisha ya kutojali on which account his father frequently I reprehended him. Na kwa sababu hiyo mara nyingi baba yake alimkaripia. And sometimes in terms of severity. Na wakati mwingine kwa ukali. Which considerably added to the gloom that seemed to oppress him. Na hiyo ikaongeza juu ya huzuni ilio mgandamiza. Au shida alio kwa nayo. Shida alio kwa nayo. On the 14th of October 761. Siku ya tarikumna tatu mweza October mwaka ilifu moja ya miasaba na stina moja. Mr. G. Goba Bwana la vice Bwana Goba la vice A young gentleman ki, Kijana ki, Kijana wa miaka kuminatisa About 19 years of age Kijana wa umri wa miaka kuma kuminatisa The son of la vice Mwana wa la vice A celebrated advocate of tolas Mwana sheria alie heshimika wa tolu About 5 o'clock in the evening Kama asa kumina moja jioni was met by John Callas. Ali kutana na John Callas. The father. Baba. And the, the elder son of Mark Anthony. Na, na mwanae wakwa, mzali wakwanza Mark Anthony. Who was his friend. Amba alikuwa ni rafiki yake. Callas, the father. Callas, baba yake. Invited him to, to supper. Haka mkaribisha wale chakula chajioni. And the family and their guests sat down in a room up one pair of stairs 
na jamii pamoja na mgeni wao wakakete chumbani gorofa ya kwanza chumba chumba kimoja gorofa ya kwanza the whole company consisting of Carlos the father ah uh, sasa sasa ikiwa hiyo nyumba ilikuwa na John Carlos baba ba, baba his wife mke wake Anthony and Peter Carlos Anthony na Peter Carlos the sons of La Vice wa, 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 wana oh, wa, or rather wana, the, wana son, the, the sons wana 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 wanawake and also la vice the visitor na pia la vice yule mgeni wao no other person being in the house kukiwa hakuna mtu mwingine huko nyumbani hakuna mtu mwingine kwa hiyo nyumba except the maid servant isipokuwa yule mjakazi who had been already mentioned ambaye tayari tumemtaja it was now about 7 o'clock sasa ilikuwa ni kama saa moja jioni the supper was not long chakula hakikuchukua cha jioni akichukua muda mrefu kwa mbali kikikuwa mbali but before it was over lakini kabla hakijamalizika Anthony left the table Anthony akaondoka mezani Anthony mnakumbuka you remember is this lawyer kumbuka Anthony ni huyu mwanasheria eh yeah? mm-hmm. the son of lawyer huyu mwana mwanaye hapa ni mwanasheria so mwana the table akaondoka mezani that is before see he left the table and Ak- went into the kitchen Anthony akaondoka mezani akaingia jikoni which was on the same floor yuko mbali ilikuwa kwenye orofa sawa na hiyo na pale mbako alikuwa anakulia as he was accustomed to do kama alivyokuwa amezoea kufanya the maid asked him if he was cold mjakazi akamuuliza kama alikuwa anahisi baridi kama anasikia ha, kama anasikia baridi he has had quite the contrary akajibu kinyume chake i burn akasema anachomeka hata, hata hata ninachomeka hata nasikia joto nasikia, nasikia joto kama sana anayechomeka mm-hmm. and then left her alafu akamwacha in the meantime wakati huo wakati huu wakati huu his friend and family left the room they had supped in rafiki yake na jamii wakaondoka chumba, chumbani kile ambacho walikuwa nakulia walichokulia walichokulia and went into a bed chamber na wakaenda katika uh, chumba cha kulala the father baba and la vice the visitor na la vice yule mgeni sat down together on a sofa waliketi pamoja kwenye kiti cha wakaketi kwenye kiti cha sofa the younger son peter in a narrow bochea yule mwana haya mcha, m, mdogo peter akaketi kwenye kiti cha, cha mkono and the mother in another chair na mamaye kwenye kiti kingine and without making any, any inquiry about anthony na badala bila kuuliza chochote anthony alienda hmm? continued in conversation wakaendelea na mazungumzo pamoja pamoja until between 9 and 10 o'clock hadi kati ya saa 3 na saa 4 usiku when la vice took his leave ambapo ambapo wakati ambapo la vice aliondoka alio, aliomba 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 kuondoka kuondoka Hmm? and peter and peter na pe, peter who had fallen asleep ambaye alikuwa ashachukuliwa na usingizi was awakened to attend him with a light akaamushwa am, am, ili amumulikie amumulikie on the ground floor walipofika chumba cha chini orofa ya chini of kala's house ya nyumba ya bwana kala's was a shop kulikuwa, kulikuwa na duka and a warehouse na boha na the store the latter of which was divided from the shop by a pair of folding doors sto ambayo ilikuwa imegawanywa sto na duka zilikuwa zimegawanywa na mlango wa kukunjwa kukunjwa when peter callas and la vice came downstairs into the shop wakati peter callas na la vice walishuka chini kwa, kwa, kwa duka they were extremely shocked walishtuka sana to see anthony hanging in his shirt wakimuona anthony kumuona kumuona anthony akininginia kwa shati lake from a bar kutoka kwa mbao which he had laid across the top of the two folding doors mbao aliyokuwa ameweka katikati ya milango miwili ya kukunjwa having have opened them for that purpose akiwa amefungua milango hiyo nusu kwa kusudi hilo la kujinyonga on discovery of this horrid spectacle katika walipo walipogundua tukio hili la kutisha they shrieked out walipaza oh, sauti walishtuka walipaza sauti kwa mshtuko ambayo ilimwambalo 
Ilimf... Duru abao imu, ilimfanya baba Kuteremuka chini mm -hmm. The mother being uh, The mother being seized With such terror Has kept her trembling In the passage above Na mama akiwa ameshikwa na mshtuko hivyo Akabaki tu akitetemeka hapo juu When the maid discovered what had happened Wakati mjakazi alipo gundua kile ambacho kilikuwa kimefanyika Remember she was a Catholic herself Kumbuka ya mwenye mkijakazi wa likuwa mkatoliki She continued uh, below Pia Ali, yeye ali, aka, aka teremuka akate, chini Pia yeye maid aka, aka teremuka Aka teremuka chini Either because she feared to carry an account of it to her mistress Pengine akiogopa kupelekea um, mama mama mwajiri wake nyumba, mama nyumba habari hiyo or because she busied herself in doing some good office to her master au pengine alijiji alijifanya alijiji kwamba anataka hmm. kumtumikia mwana wake who was embracing the body of his son ambaye alikuwa anakumbatia mwili wa mwanae and bathing it in his tears na akiu akiu akiwosha kwa kwa machozi the mother therefore huyo mama basi being thus left alone akisha akisha kuachwa peke yake hivyo went down alishuka chini akashuka chini and mixed in the scene that had already that has already described na akachanganyikana katika haya ambayo Tari me, na wengine katika hali ambayo imeeleza. With such emotions huko akijawa, akijawa uh, miasho kama hiyo, as it must naturally produce. Ambayo kwa kawaida tukio hilo linaleta. In the meantime, wakati huu Peter had been sent to La Mo. Peter alikuwa ametumwa La Mo kule. Alikuwa ametumwa kule La Mo. Ah, ali Uh, alitumwa kwa la mo kwa, kwa, alitumwa kwa la mo a surgeon in the neighborhood daktari wa hapo karibu ji, jirani. jirani la mo was not at home la mo hakuwa nyumbani but his apprentice lakini wanafunzi wake mr goshe bwana goshe, bwana grosso grosso bwana grosso came instantly alikuja mara moja upon examination Kad, uh, baada ya, baada ya kutazama mwili kutazama mwili he found the body quite dead alio alikuta mwili akakuta jamaa amekufa tayari and by this time na kufikia wakati huu a papistic crowd of hu, people kundi, were gathered about the house kundi kubwa la wakatoliki lilikuwa limezunguka nyumba And having by some means heard that Anton Callas was suddenly dead na wakijua kwa njia fulani kwamba Anton Callas amekufa ghafla and that the surgeon who had examined the body declared that he had been struggled na ya kwamba daktari aliye utazama mwili alikuwa ameamua alitoa ali uamuzi ya kwamba amenyongwa ni kifo cha ni kifo cha kunyongwa These Catholics, hawa wakatoliki, these papists, hawa papists, this wa, wa, crowd of papists, ili kundi la wakatoliki, took it into their heads, walichukua mikononi mwao, heads, eh, ah, wakachukua vichwani mwao, wakaamua, wakaamua, the, uh, he had been murdered, wakaamua ya kwamba alikuwa amewawa, amewawa, and as the family was protestant, na kwa kuwa familia ilikuwa ya kiprotestanti, They pre presently suppose how a Catholic Kikurija a Catholic suppose that Waka. the young man was about to change his religion. Kikurija a Catholic a Catholic they have killed him because he must have been trying to change from Protestants to. Wamemu pengi wamemu kwa sababu alikuwa taka kubalisha ali nikutoka u Protestant kuingia u Catholic. That's why they have killed him. Jumana wamemu by hanging. Koko mnyonga and had been put to death for that reason na aliwawa kwa sababu hiyo na yakoba amemuua kwa sababu hiyo ukijana wao the poor father askini huyo baba overwhelmed with the grief for the loss of his child akiwa ameshikwa na huzuni nyingi kwa sababu ya kumpoteza mtoto wake was advised by his friends alishauriwa na akashauriwa na marafiki zake to send for the officers of justice kutumainia police 
to prevent has been torn to pieces by the Catholic multitude. Kuzuia asirarudiwe. Yeah, asifanywe mob justice. Aha. Uh -huh. Asifamiwe na 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 uma wa Kikatoliki. Who suppose he had murdered his son? Ambao walikuwa wamedhania kwamba ameuumua mwanae. This was accordingly done. Na jambo hili lilifanyika and David na Daudi the chief magistrate ile ka hakimu mkuu o capito au mtawala mtawala took the father akamchukua baba Peter the son Peter mwanae and the mother na mama yao mama yake la vice na la vice and the maid na yule mjakazi all into custody wote akawafungia and he set a guard over them na akaweka mlinzi juu yao he sent for MD la Tua, akatumania MD la Tua, a physician, daktari, and MM la Maki, na MM la la Maki, and per peronet, na perot, surgeon, wapaswaji, who examining the body for marks of violence, walio chunguza mwili waone kama kuna alama za kufanywa kutumia wanguvu. But found none. Lakini hawa kuona alama yoyote. Except the mark of the ligature, that is the 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 rope. Ispoko alama tu ya kamba. On the neck. Onye shingo. They found also the hair of the disease. Tia one up in the usual manner. Tia wali pata nyuele zahu madiriwa. Imetegenezo kujia ya. Ya kawaida. Ya kawaida. Perfectly smooth. Zimenyoroshwa vizuri. And without the least. Bila hata kusumbuliwa hata kidogo His clothes were also regularly folded up Nguo zake pia zilikuwa zime nyoroshwa vizuri And laid upon the counter Na zikawe kwa kwenye meza Nor was his shirt either torn or unbuttoned Wala shirt lake haliku raruliwa au kufunguliwa vifungo Notwithstanding these innocent appearances Zaidi Ingawa Bila kuhesabu Bila kujali Kuonekana huku Ambako kulionyesha kwamba huu jamaa hakuwa katika mungangano wa wote The capital thought proper to agree with the opinion of the mob huyu muangali mkubwa mkubwa muangalizi akaonelea kubaliana na u na uma na uma and took it into his head that na akamua ya kwamba old callas mzee huyu mzee huyu callas had sent for la vice alikuwa memtumania alie ndia alie mtumania la vice huyu mgeni huyu mgeni Telling him that he had a son to be hanged. Aki mwambia kwa ba alikuwa na mwana ambaye alikuwa anyongo. Anataka. Anataka kunyongo. Anataka anyongo. Anataka anyongo. Sorry. That la vice ya kwa ba ya kwa ba la vice had come to perform the office of executioner. Ya kwa ba la vice alikuwa mkuja kutekeleza kazi. Alikuja nyumbai kutekeleza kazi ya ya mnyongaji ya kunyo ya kunyongana. And that he had received assistance from the father and brother. Na eti alikuwa mesaidiwa na baba na ndugu ya huyu mwadiriwa. See? See? He says he's going to destroy this temple. Anasema atabomoa hekalu hili. And build it in three days. Na alijenge kwa siku tatu. This man blasphemed. Huyu mutu anakufuru. See? He says he's a king. Anasema yeye. Anasema yeye ni mfalme. Yet we have one king, Caesar. Na ukuta na mfalme moja ndiye Caesar. See? You see? We heard him. We heard him blaspheme. Tuli msiki ya akikufuru. You remember? That Catholic woman called Jezebel in the Old Testament. Na mukumu kwa vile mwanamke. Na mukumu kwa vile mukatoliki Jezebel agano la kale. We see not a Catholic. Je hakuwa mukatoliki? Is it not the same religion? Je si dini hiyo hiyo? Si. Nebos. Nebos. Si. Had a just a small, small, small garden. Nebos alikuwa na kashamba kadogo. But it was in a place we call oasis, something that a place, a watery place. Ilikuwa na mahali penye chepe chepe, penye maji. Where sukuma wiki could grow very well. Ambapo sukuma ingekuwa vizuri. Alright. And other vegetables. Na mboga zingine. It was a watery place. Ilikuwa na mahali penye maji. 
and the king wanted the pre, the peace na mfalme alitaka sehemu hiyo ehab ahab approaches the owner akamwendea mwenyewe shamba na mwenyewe akasema i cannot part with my father's heritage akasema siwezi kukuuzia urithi wangu urithi wa baba yangu ehab ahab was home very sad akaenda nyumbani akiwa na huzuni sana See goes to straight to bed. Akaenda wewe mara moja kitandani. Food is ready. Chakula kikawa tayari. Try to call him. Wakaja kumwita. Hiyo chakula is not coming. Haja hakwenda kwa chakula. The queen. Malkia. Goes in to find out. Akaenda ndani chumbani kujua ni nini kinaendelea. After interrogation. Baada ya kumhoji. He says he, he, she discovers the problem. Akagundua shida ilikuwa wapi? Is it that not something to make a man ah. behave the way you are behaving? Hicho si hilo si jambo la kumfanya mwanamume afanye kama anafanya. Oh, set that problem. Jo ule shida hiyo nitaishughulikia. And what did she do? Na alifanya nini mwanamke huyo? Went alienda and, and, and prepared some goods. Na akatatafuta wakora fulani, akatarisha wakora fulani. It's a Catholic spirit. Ni roho ya Kikatoliki. Is a political spirit. Ni roho ya kisiasa. Right? Mm -hmm. She gathered some goods. Akakusanya wakora fulani, bribed them. Akawahonga. Told them, akawaambia, I want you to go to the street. Nataka muende barabarani. Pass through Kenyatta Avenue. Pite Kenyatta Avenue. Through where we go diga. Hiyo barabara zote. Nampaza sauti. That Naboth has blasphemed God. Mseme ya kwamba Naboth amemkurufuru Mungu. And that's what they did. They went everywhere. Hivyo ndio walifanya, walienda kila mahali. Attracted the crowd. Na wakavutia kundi kubwa. And what followed? Na kilichofuatia ni nini? Naboth was apprehended. Naboth akakamatwa and killed. Na akauawa. Right there. Pale pale. In that same place. Katika shamba hilo hilo. Paul Jezreel. See? He did this. Alifanya hivi. This man said this. Huyo mtu alisema hivi. We even hear him say this. Hata tulimsikia akisema hivi. That's what you are reading here earlier this morning. Hivyo ndivyo tulisoma mapema hapo asubuhi. That's the case of Paul. Kuhusu Paulo. Kuhusu Paulo. Those Pharisees. Na wale wa Farisayo. Sabond. They prepared false witnesses. Walitarisha mashahidi wa uongo. Wakainuka dhidi ya Paulo. To cry false witness. Kule, kulia wa, wa, kuwa wa, wa, mashahidi wa uongo. Yeah it is here. Ndio hiyo hapo. Same spirit. Roho hiyo hiyo. All right? Mm -hmm. See? As no proof all the supposed fact could be procured kwa kuwa hakukuwa na ushahidi au ukweli kama huo ungepatikana kwa kuwa kuna ushahidi wa istakairo abalo wageweza ku, kupata, kupata. Mm -hmm. the capital huyu mku had recourse to a monetary had recourse to a, a monetary that is a uh, or general information alikuwa na habari kwa kijumla kwa kijumla, kwa kijumla in which ambayo the crime was taken for granted ya kwamba uh, kwa lenyewe lilichukuliwa tu kama ka, kawai, kawaida kawaida any persons were required to give such testimony against it as they were able na watu wa, 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 akatafuta mashahidi wa wa uongo, wa uongo. This recites mm -hmm. that Lavaise was commissioned by the Protestant to be their executioner in ordinary. Ushahidi huu eh, kwamba kwamba Lavaise alikuwa ameteuliwa aliko, alikodeshwa na wa Protestanti wa aje asaidie kunyonga. Uh -huh. When they of their children were to be hanged for changing their religion wa, uh, asaidie kunyonga watoto wao um, uh, wakati kwa sababu waliamini yeyote watoto wao ambao watadhubutu kubadilisha dini lazima a anyongwe, anyongwe. Hmm? it it recites also that aha pia inasemwa ya kwamba mm -hmm. when the protestants thus hang their children wakati wa protestanti wanawanyonga watoto wanapo, wao hivyo wanapo wanapo wanyonga watoto wao hivyo they compel them to kneel huwalazimisha kupiga magoti and one of the interrogators was na mmoja wa hao interrog, interrog, interrogators was na mmoja ya mambo aliyoulizwa ni kwamba mm -hmm. whether any person had seen Anthony class kneel before his father when he hanged him waliulizwa kama kuna yeyote kama kuna mtu yeyote aliyeona Anthony akipiga magoti mbele ya baba yake wakati kabla haja mnyonga because they said protestant they created a story walitunga hadithi 
Protestant Protestants when their children are changing their religion. Protestant wakati watoto wao wanabadilisha dini, they make sure they are hanged. Wana hakikisha wamewanyonga. Are they near before them? Na wanapiga makoti mbele yao kabla wawanyonge. It also went on like it that Pia, Anthony died a Roman Catholic. Pia iliendelea hadithi inaendelea kwamba Anthony Carlos alikufa kama mkatoliki. And required evidence of his Catholicism. Na na and requires evidence of his in other words we are saying yeah these protestants when their children are changing to Catholicism, how protestant they make sure they hang them how protestant wakati watoto wao wanageuza dini kuwa wa katoliki kuwa na wanyonga na anthony anthony was hanged anthony alinyongwa because he was changing his religion kwa sababu alikuwa anabadilisha dini yake therefore kwa hivyo anthony is our catholic follower anthony ni mfuasi wetu mkatoliki Because he died a Catholic. Kwa sababu alikufa akiwa mkatoliki. You know these guys they are they are lies are actually madness. Unajua hawa jamaa uongo wao hata ni wazimu. Uongo wao huwa una is raging to madness. Unaelekea una, una, kuwa wazimu. Very cheap. Uongo wa mdo rahisi sana. He says he's going to destroy the temple. Anasema atalibomoa hekalu. <laughs> See? Mm. Let Rome burn. Wacha Roma ichomeke. They say it is the protesters who have burned Rome. Ni lazima iwe ni wa ni wa protestant wamechoma Roma. See? But before um, this monitor was published, lakini kabla habari hii kuthibitishwa au au ku kusabashwa kabla habari hii kusambazwa the mob had got a notion that Anthony class was the next was the next day to have entered into fraternity of the white penitents uh, uma Ika, ika, ika tungwa hadithi nyingine the mob said yeah you were supposed to change to catholicism the following day alipaswa kugeuza kuwa mkatoliki siku iliyofuatia The capital therefore caused his body to be buried in the middle of St Stephen's church. Huyu mkuu basi akaamua mwili wa Anthony uzikwe. Anthony died a Catholic. Kwa sababu Anthony alikufa kama mkatoliki. He will be buried in in the middle of St Stephen's church. Atazikwa katikati ya kanisa la Takatifu Stephen. Alikufa kama mkatoliki. He was hanged because he was, he was, he was changing to a Catholic. Alinyongwa kwa sababu alikuwa anaweza ni kwa mkatoliki. Kwa hivyo alikufa kama mkatoliki. A few days after the interment of the deceased Siku chache baada ya mazishi ya huyu mwana zake ni kijana the, the white penitents performed a solemn service Shirika hili la white penitents lilifanya uh, ibada for him in their chapel kwa ajili yake katika kanisa lao ibada ya wafu you know ibada ya wafu katika kanisa lao The church lao. was hung with the white kanisa likaninginizwa vitu nguo nyeupe and a tomb was raised in the middle of it na kaburi likainuliwa katikati ya kanisa on top of which was placed a human skeleton ambapo juu ya kaburi hili kulewekwa fuvu la kichwa la mwanadamu holding in one hand a paper eh? ah, sio sio kifuvu ah um, mifupa ya mwanadamu ile wewe juu ya kichwa mkono moja <laughs> karatasi, karatasi on which was written karatasi ile andikwa abjuration hmm. of heresy at abju abjuration au ni kupinga ni nini kupinga Abju, abjuration of heresy that is it is in other words it should be adjua abjuration kukemea ama in other words in the in the other palm ule mkono mwingine the emblem of martyrdom ishara ya ishara ya kufia imani imani in other words in other words at this man this this in other words the dead here yani mfu hapa huyu mfu huyu mfu died alikufa because of rejecting heresy kwa of his relatives kwa sababu ya kupinga uzushi wa jamii yake And therefore, na kwa hivyo he died a martyr. Alikufa kama mfia imani. Mfia imani. Hmm. 
The next day siku iliyofuatia the Franciscans hawa shirika la Franci Franciscan Francis performed a service of the same kind for him walimfanyia ibada ya wafu kama hiyo The capital continued the persecution with unrelenting severity. Huyu mkuu akaendeleza mateso bila kukoma and without the least proof coming in. Na bila thibitisho lolote lilopatikana. Lilopatikana. Thought it fit to condemn the unhappy father. Akaona ni vyema kumhukumu huyo baba aliyekuwa na huzuni. Mother, mama, brother kaka ndugu yake friend rafiki and servant na mtumishi huyo mwanamke huyo mwanamke kijakazi wate wapata katika hukumu mateso wateswe wateswe put them all into irons na wafungi the 18th of november na wote wafungiwe wakafungwa na minyororo tarehe 18 mwezi wa 11 from this dreadful proceedings kutoka na uh, mateso haya ya kutisha The sufferers appealed to the parliament. Walioteseka wale Hawa wafungwa waka piga rufaa kwa bunge. Kwa bunge which immediately took cognizance of the affair. Bunge ambayo mara moja ilitambua uh, jambo hilo and announced the sentence of the capital as irregular. Na ikabatilisha hukumu ya huyo mkuu kama isiyofaa. But they continued the process a prosecution lakini mateso ya na, na, na mashtaka oh, mashtaka sorry wakaendelea na mashtaka and upon the hangman eh uh, deposing it and upon the hangman deposing it was impossible uh, was possible Anthony should hang himself as was pretended na kutokana na huyu na, na na wakichukua kwamba haigewezekana Antony awe ajinyonga yeye mwenyewe mwenyewe kama ilivyo daiwa the majority of parliament uh, of the parliament uh, wengi katika wabunge wa bunge wa of the opinion walikuwa na wazo kwamba that the prisoners were guilty ya kwamba wafungwa hawa walikuwa na hatia and therefore na kwa hivyo ordered them to be tried by the criminal court of talos wakaagiza kwamba wahukumiwe na mahakama ya jinai ya tolu one voted him innocent mmoja akapiga kura ya kwamba alikuwa hana hatia hawa hawana hatia but after long debates lakini baada ya mjadala mrefu the majority was for the torture uh, and wheel Wabunge wengi waliamua kwamba wateswe hawa wafugwa wa wateswe na kupitia kwenye gurudumu hilo and probably condemned the father by way of experiment na pengine wakamhukumu baba kama awe kama jaribio jaribio awe experiment awe kama jaribio whether he was guilty or not iwe alikuwa ana hatia au hana hatia hoping he would in the agony confess the crime wakitumaini kwamba katika mateso hayo angekiri kosa hilo and accuse the other prisoners na awashtumu wale wafungwa wengine whose fate therefore they suspended ambao hatima yao amba waliahairisha what happened kilichofanyika is that kwamba, after debating about the whole thing baada ya kujadiliana juu ya jambo lote parliament aha bunge said, okay ilisema sawa keep this in prison waweke hawa gerezani take the father mchukweni baba torture him mtese maybe in his pain pengine katika uchungu wake he will confess he did it atakiri alifanya kosa hilo and in, implicate the others that they did with them na aseme kwamba hao wengine walifanya kosa walifanya jambo hilo na hawe na wengine so they will have also excuse to get the rest sasa watakuwa na na, na jambo la kufanya wakamate so they got the father kwa hivyo wakamkamata baba put him in torture wakampitisha mateso what colors however mpaka colors maskini hata hivyo an old man of 68 mtu mzee wa miaka 68 was condemned to this fearful punishment alone alihukumiwa kupitia mateso haya katika mateso haya pe peke yake peke yake he suffered the torture with great constancy akapitia mateso hayo katika kuvumilia kukuu 
and was led to execution in a frame of mind na akaongozwa kuwawa uh, in a frame of mind which excited the hali ya mawazo that so him iliyowavutia wengi ambao waliomuona particularly of the two dominicans hasa hao wa dominica wawili that is father bogis yani, and father Koldegis, Father Koldegis, na Father Koldegis, who attended him in his last movement. Waliomhudumia wakati wake wa mwisho. And declared that na wakatangaza ya kwamba they thought him not only innocent of the crime. Walidhani kwamba hakuwa hakuwa tu na hatia. They thought hakuwa tu asiye na na hatia ya kosa abalo alishtakiwa uh-huh. but also lakini pia an exemplary instant example of true christian patience alikuwa ni mfano Laki, mz... lakini pia ni mfano mzuri wa mkristiano mwenye oh. eh, mwenye subira subira hmm. fortitude mwenye ushujaa courage and charity na, na mwenye furaha mwenye furaha and love na upendo When he saw the executioner prepared to give him the last stroke ah uh, alipoona yule huh? mwenye kumuua Akit- akiwa tayari kumpa pigo lake la mwisho he made a fresh declaration to father bogus akatoa tangazo jipya kwa huyu father bogus but while the words were still in his mouth lakini maneno yalipokuwa yaangali kinywani mwake the capital yule mkuu the order of this catastrophe mwenye kutunga janga hili lote au kusababisha au mwenye sababisha shida hii yote who came upon the scaffold merely to gratify his desire of being a witness of his punishment and death alikuja mahali hapo pa kunyongewa ili kama shahidi tu wa kama mu, kama anayetaka kujifurahisha mwenyewe mm-hmm. na shukua shahidi wa adhabu hii ya kifo ran up to him akamkimbilia and bowed out na akasema kwa sauti wretch kasia kasia hii there are fat gods which are to reduce your body to ashes kuna mikuni wa, wadudu wanagoja kumaliza mwili wako mm-hmm. kwa majivu majivu speak the truth sema kweli see they about to kill him wako karibu kumuua sema kweli mr callas made no reply bwana callas hakujibu but turned his head a little aside lakini akageuza kichwa chake upande kidogo and in that moment na wakati huo was executioner did his office huyo mwenye kutekeleza mauaji akafanya akamaliza akamaliza kazi yake the popular outcry against this family Ah, ki ushtuma kama ushtuma iliyozuka dhidi ya jamii hii this family of colors jamii hii ya colors so violent in in Languedoc ilikuwa kuu sana huko Languedoc that everybody expected to see the children of colors broke upon the wheel hivi kwamba and the mother band alive hivi kwamba kila mtu alitarajia watoto wa Kalas wavunjwe vunjwe alitaka jamii yote ifanye nini yangamizwe yangamizwe young donat kalas was advised to fly to switzerland huyu donat kalas mchanga alishauriwa atoroke switzerland he went akaenda huko and found a gentleman akampata bwana mmoja who at first could only pity and believe him ambaye mara ya kwanza angemhurumia tu na kumu kumtuliza and relieve him na kumtuliza without daring to judge of the rigor exercised against the father bila kujaribu kuhukumu kuhukumu kuamua bila kuamua kama yale aliyopata baba yake ilikuwa ni kweli au ni uongo si kweli mm-hmm. mother and brothers mama yake na kaka pia, zake pia mama yake na ndugu zake Soon after mara tu baada ya hapo one of the brothers was only banished moja ndugu zake tu alifukuzwa nchini ambaye alikufukuzwa tu ali ambaye alifukuzwa peke yake likewise threw himself into the arms of the same person vivyo hivyo akaenda kwa akajipeana kwa mtu huyo who for more than a month 
ambaye kwa zaidi ya mwezi mmoja took every possible precaution to be assured of the innocence of the family alichukua kila tahadhari mwezi mmoja kawa hana hakika sana kama kweli hawa vijana vile wanasema sivyo jamii yao ili ilivyo ilifanya Once convinced, akisha kushawishika mara tu alipo mara tu aliposhawishika he thought himself obliged in conscience to employ his friends akajiona uh, katika dhamira zake kwamba ana jukumu la kuajiri marafiki zake his pass uh, mkoba wake his pen kalamu yake and his credit to repair the fate of mystic of the seven judges of Talos na kutumia fedha zake ili kurekebisha kosa kuu na hawa na wale mahakimu wa saba wa Talos and to have the proceedings revised by the king's council na kupiga rufaa katika baraza la mfalme yeah he decided to use his money ali, ali use whatever tumia. means use right right to the king alitumia pesa zake amwandikie mfalme mm -hmm that this thing that was done to this family was not right kwamba jambo hili lilotendewa jamii hii halikuwa sahihi this revi this revision lasted three years arufa hii ilichukua miaka mitatu and it was well known na ilijulikana vizuri what honor mr de glosse and bakwang bakwa court uh, acquired by investigating this memorable cause ah Rufaa hii ilichukua miaka mitatu na ilijulikana vizuri na it well known na inajulikana vizuri what honor Heshma Heshma huyu bwana haya mabwana mabwana de, gro, de grosne uh -huh. kwa uchuguzi waliofanya uh -huh. juu ya jambo hili 50 masters of the court of request maafisa hamsini wa koti hii ya ya Rufaa ya Rufa, Unanimously declared the whole family of class innocent Kalas kwa innocent kwa kauli moja waliamua ya kwamba jamii hii ya Kalas walikuwa hawana hatia and recommended them to be benevolent to the benevolent justice of his majesty na wakapendekeza uh, kwamba uh, wagaramiwe wa wa wa, pe, wa walipwe walipwe ridha na mfalme ya mfalme the duke d choice huyu mwana uh, msimamizi eh? who, who huyu never the sleep an opportunity of signaling the greatness of his character ambaye hakuacha kila wakati alikuwa anatafuta fursa ya ku ya kujipatia sifa uh, sifa not only uh, as, assisted this unfortunate family with the money hakusaidia tu uh, jamii jami hii kwa fedha but obtained for them a gratuity lakini pia aliwalipa ridha of 36000 livers ya liva 1036 kutoka kwa mfalme on the 9th of march katika siku ya 9 mwezi wa march 1765 mwaka 1765 the arrest the arrest was signed with which justified the family of colors hati ilipigwa ilitiwa sahihi ambayo ili ondolea hatia jamii ya Kalas and changed their fate na kugeuza hatima yao au kupa, kupati kubatili kubatilisha hukumu yao yeah yeah the 9th of march uh, siku ya tisa mwezi wa march 1762 mwaka 1762 was the very day on which the innocent and virtuous father of that family had been executed siku hiyo ilikuwa ndio ambayo um, uh, baba huyu mwenye haki na jamii yake waliuawa all paris ran in crowd to see them come out of prison paris nzima paris uh, wote wote wa paris wakajitokeza kuona hii ja, familia hii kitoka gere gereza gereza and clapped their hands for joy na wakapiga makofi yao kwa furaha Well the tears streamed from their eyes. Huku machozi ikiwabubujika machoni mwao. This dreaded example of bigotry. Huu mfano wa kutisha wa uovu huu employed the pen of uh, Voltaire in a deprecation in deprecation. Uliotumika of the horrors of of superstition katika mateso haya ya, ya ushirikina 
and though an infidel himself na ingawa ni yeye mwenyewe hakuwa mwaminio his essay on tolerance does honor to his pen maandishi yake kuhusu kuvumiliana yanapea heshima kalamu yake and has been a blessed means of abating the rigor of persecution in most european states na amekuwa ni njia ya kubarikiwa ya kutuliza ukali wa mateso katika nchi za europa gospel purity will equally shun superstition and cruelty a uh, usafi wa injili utapi, kwa, kwa, kwa njia hiyo hiyo utapinga uh, superstition ushir, and ushirikina na ukatili as the as the mildness of christ uh, tenets kama upole wa ma, 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 mafundisho ya kristo teaches only to comfort in this world ufundisha tu tufariji katika ulimwengu huu and to procure salvation in the next na ku, ili, ili kupata uokovu katika ulimwengu ujao to to to, to, to persecute for being of a different opinion kutesa mtu anti kwa sababu ana maoni tofauti is as absurd as to persecute for having a different countenance ni jambo baya kama sawa tu kama kutesa mtu ale na sura tofauti kwa sababu ana sura to, <laughs> tofauti na yako if we honor god tukimheshimu mungu keep sacred the pure doctrines of christ tuweke sa us Safi, safi mafundisho safi ya Kristo put a full confidence in the promises contained in the holy scriptures tuwe na imani katika ahadi zilizo katika maandiko matakatifu and obey the political laws of the state na tutii amri za serikali in which we reside ambao ambao serikali ambazo tunaishi we have an undoubted right to protection tuko na na, na haki ya kulindwa ya ya shaka ya kulindwa instead of persecution badala ya kuteswa and to serve heaven na kutumikia mbingu as our consciences kama vile dhamiri zetu regulated by the gospel zikiongozwa na injili rules ya uh, zina, zina vyo tu uh, 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 tuamuru tuamuru or may direct au vile naweza kutuelekeza tuongo, tuongoza vinavyotuongoza you can see such mnaweza kuona such mambo kama haya such lies huh? such lies uongo kama huo open lies uongo wazi and in all times na nyakati zote the spirit roho hii has used false witness imetumia mashahidi wa uongo alright to persecute the believers kutesa waamini na listen sikilizeni jesus suffered at a false word yesu aliteseka chini ya mashahidi wa uongo yesu aliwawa chini ya mashahidi wa uongo wa uongo see let's start and pray simame ili tuombe Jesus said Yesu alisema comes, wakati utakuja when those who kill you wakati wale watakapowaua will think that they are doing God a what watadhani ya kwamba wanamfanyia Mungu ibada So let's pray Tuombeeni Our heavenly Father this, this note has been written and brought here not to me but to you Lord Be merciful unto this child Yes We also want to thank you very much Lord because you have taught us that the enemy is the same enemy his, his method is the same method Father may it be that we are also the old type of believers and the old type of soldiers Heavenly Father Lord we read of many heroes of faith yes. in the past yes this is another generation make us heroes Amen. from this generation. Amen. May we join one day with the rest of the army. Yes, Lord. The army of the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, to rejoice in your kingdom. Yes. This without end. Amen. Father, we pray that you may give us that long range vision. Yes, Jesus. Father, to see beyond our problems. Yes. 
to see beyond everything, may there not be anything, Heavenly Father, that will cover our vision of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Keep us, Lord. For those who may travel, Father, we pray for their traveling masses. Protect us, Lord. If you tarry, Father, give us another day of fellowship around yourself. For the funeral, Lord, we attend tomorrow. We pray, Father, for traveling masses. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Go before us, Lord. We know that every field where you give us a chance, Father, to testify is a field of battle. Go before us. And Heavenly Father, take authority over everything that is your own creation. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Bless you very much. Let's pray.